Hey everybody, I'm Jackie Jing from IGN. And I'm Shag from Motor Trend. We are live in Orange County, California at the Motor Trend headquarters. And we are excited about Ubisoft's The Crew 2. What better way to celebrate with, than with the king of the road trip challenge? We're going to talk about that in a little bit, but first we are with Julian Hummer with Hello. IGN Power. Thanks okay. so much for joining us. Thank you. A lot of excitement here. So talk to us about The Crew 2. Yeah, so The Crew 2, you are going to, uh, as a player, explore the, one of the biggest online open world ever created for a racing game. It's like uh, doing in the, in the air, on the ground, on the water, cars, boats, planes, bikes, and do whatever you want on motorsports to become the champ of Motor Nation. You've got it all covered. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He knows it. It's yeah. his baby. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about the Gold Edition. So the Gold Edition is going to be uh, is going to allow players to play three days early the game, and it's going to include like uh, the season pass with like some exclusivity, three exclusive car plus every month to, uh, additional cars and some other benefits. So it's a must. Yeah, it's a the must. Gold Edition is a must. Absolutely. If you want to play early, yes. Okay. Must have. We have some details on the screen right now, but let's talk about the competitors. And we're going to start off with the West Coast. I mean, I may be a little bit biased here. Okay, Ammunition is on that team. Samara Redway, Typical Gamer, and Diction. Now to the East Coast. Cream, Speedy, Hova, and Legion. Rep in the Midwest, we've got Legendary Leah, Jack Ultra, The Slap Train, and Bryce. And down in the Dirty South, we've got Big Jiggly Panda, Tomcat, That Dude in Blue, and Nogla. All right, now let's check in with Axel Toss and G-Runner with a breakdown of the event. Hey, guys. Thanks, Jackie, and welcome to the highest revving caster desk in all of history. Rrr, it's rrr. the best-looking talent lineup. It's me, Renee G-Runner, <laughs> next to me. The guy that, with a smile, could win every single woman out there. It's wow. Alex Axel Toss. We'll bring you all the action of the Crew, crew 2 racing today, and that will be our, let's say, versatile today. Yeah, I cannot wait to get into these races. We're getting inside the game. We're going to be commentating as these races unfold. And this is a new game. A lot of you probably playing the open beta right now, which is available, so go check that out for the Crew 2. It's a new game from Ubisoft. I know a lot of people are curious on what it's going to look like. It's great. We have developers on hand here as well. And we got an awesome competition. King of the Road Trip, we're starting with 16, and we're going all the way down to one as the day unfolds. And here's how it kind of looks. We have five rounds of play. After the first three rounds, we're taking the top four. Then we're going to have a last chance uh, option for round number four, where we'll take four from that, leading us to eight drivers in the finals, but there can only be one king of the road trip. So it's going to be a super fun day. We're going to see a lot of different tracks, a lot of different cars, a lot of different vehicles, and we're going to, we're going to be here helping guide you guys through all the action. Yeah, all kinds of racing. We'll have everything. You said that already, boats, planes. No, not planes, I think. Today. Oh, we will see them in the final. Oh, totally forgot about Stay that. Stay tuned. So yeah, it will be around everything. We got all the different regions in there. We got all the different kind of content creators, all the guys you want to see out there. You want to see them racing which is exactly what we do today. I think we tried to pick favorites already, but it would be too early to reveal that by now. We are unbiased commentators. <laughs> As uh, always. I think the East, uh, looking at East Coast over there, they're, they're getting ready right now. They're looking pretty serious. Uh, and, and Legion over there, he's hilarious. He's actually a good friend of mine. So I'm kind of rooting for him, but also uh, expecting quite a bit of hilarity uh, from them. So you never know what to expect, but definitely stay tuned for the whole day. You see, totally unbiased, that's how it should be, and we're giving it back to the couch. All right, thanks so much, Alex and Renee. And we heard them talking about the fast fave feature. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, so uh, when you are going to the US, uh, one of the best things you can do is exploring the world, open world. So we wanted to make sure that it was frictionless, and with one click, the feature, the fast fave feature, is allowing you to switch from one vehicle to another. So for example, you are in New York City with your car, and then you click on a button, and you switch directly to a plane like that. And then you can uh, go with your plane between buildings, and you see the Hudson River and you switch again to a boat and then you can uh, like aim on the water on the river Hudson River towards uh, Lady Liberty. Okay, and we were talking about four motor families, 14 different disciplines, correct? Exactly. So we have four uh, four families, the street racing family, the off-road family, the freestyle family, and the um, pro racing family. And within all these families, you have 14 different disciplines. So for example, in the street racing family, you have like the street race, the drift, the drag race, and of course, hypercar. So uh, we structure the game like that. And we have a story because it's all about your own story. And we have a story for each family. You do whatever you want. If you want to be a street racer, you can. If you want to be a pro racer, you can. You do whatever you want. 
Okay, the maps are super cool and there's a lot of real world inspiration, right? Absolutely. So we went to the US and we met a lot of pilots and drivers there. And uh, we, went, we wanted to make sure that all iconic places of the world were there. So from New York, LA, the Golden Gate, uh, the Mont Rushmore, the Grand Canyon, everything is within the game. So you can go there, just enjoy to see these iconic places or you can go there and enjoy motorsport discipline because we wanted to make sure that you were doing things you can't even imagine doing in real life. So tell me more about the Gator Rush. <laughs> yeah, we're hearing a lot about that. So Gator Rush is going to be released in September. It's the first free update for the game. And uh, you will have a, a new discipline, so it's uh, overcraft. So you are going to be able to race with uh, overcraft there, plus other features. Do not hesitate to go on the website. We have all the details for that. That makes sense, Gator Rush, overcraft. Uh, exactly. All right. You. Well, speaking <laughs> of Rush, I didn't get to go. But you two did. Yes, we got the lucky. It Porsche, was amazing. Yeah, Porsche Experience Center. Yeah, that was awesome. What did you think, Julian? It was quite impressive, but you, do, you drove so fast. I'm like, I can't do that. But it was like amazing, amazing experience. I know, I walked over to Julian. I was like, that was so cool. He was like, you're a good driver. I was like, really? I mean, I was like slamming on the gas. And then you have to brake as hard as you can. I was shaking when I got out of the car. It was super cool experience. But take a look at this video, and you can see what we experienced. <laughs> That was way too much fun. Back here with Julian, and can you believe it? We are talking about round one already. Street racing. What else are we going to see? Exactly. So in the east, you are going to have like a street race, a classic street race within the New York City. So it's like a racing with a lot of chaos there. And you are in the middle of the street, and you have shortcuts. So it's like the typical street race in cities. Okay. Well, really quickly, we want to take a look at the east and west, where our racers will be competing. Take a look. Take a look. There we go. My name is Jordan Payton, AKA Legion with a Q, and today I am representing the East Coast. If you are a person that is a night owl, you're trying to stay up late all hours, you still want to have something to do, definitely check out the East Coast. If you're coming to the East Coast and you've never been there before, you need to prepare for how wild and packed it gets. People come from outside in the central area and they don't realize how hectic it can be. One thing you need to know about the East Coast before you visit it, especially if it's in the north part of the East Coast, is that there's a lot of snow. My friends and I actually got invited out to New York City for a business meeting a few years ago and on our way there it just randomly started snowing and there was like this giant blizzard in New York City. I hated snow, that's why I moved to California, but uh, I definitely still enjoy visiting, just not so much in the winter. Take appropriate clothing in case you show up to New York City and it happens to be a blizzard that you weren't expecting. My name is Nick, I go by Diction Online, and I'm representing the West Coast. One of my first memories was the 89 earthquake. Everything starts shaking, my mom rushes in, snags me and drags me outside and holds me. I just remember feeling like it was really funny that I didn't care that we were in this dire situation and I just cared about playing with my friends. I think that people should know that the West Coast is the best coast. <laughs> I feel like the people are more relaxed on the West Coast. So in terms of the West Coast, like an interesting thing is that just everywhere you go can be really, really scenic and beautiful. And there's the Sea to Sky Highway, and it is the most beautiful thing ever. It was almost distracting to try to be on the road and to try to see all the scenery because it was just lush mountains and, and trees. Yeah, the West Coast is really great for you know, snowboarding and surfing, and you can do both in one weekend. California really has my favorite landscape. One great story I have for my first car, which was a Saturn View. And I didn't realize there was a speed lock on the speedometer, and I actually wound up calling the dealership saying, why can't I make the car go over 100? My first car, 2000 Ford Ranger. One morning, I rarely ate breakfast in high school. I'm, I'm pulling out, getting ready to pull off the street, and I'm looking down at this cherry, like, cordial Danish. And I put my car in reverse, and I just, just, hit the front end of my dad's 
my dad's Hyundai and uh, put a dent in it because I was too focused on uh, being a fat kid and eating my cherry Danish. A lot of risk what did I say? In, in everyday yeah. traffic. <laughs> Legion character, love it. Uh, he's going to be competing in our first round, and that's what we're talking about right now. Once again, five rounds in total. This is going to be our first round, and we're starting on Golden Hills. And uh, once you hop into the crew, too, you'll, you, can, you can actually go to all these locations and check them out yourself in the open beta, so definitely go check that out. Um, this, this Golden Hills track is pretty much situated in between Vegas and L.A. Have you ever done that drive? I know you're from, the, you're from Europe over there. Do you ever do any driving here on the West Coast? No, I'm the only person still that walks around here. You saw that yesterday when yeah. we went for dinner. I'm the one yeah, walking, walking through around. the U.S. I never drove in the U.S. ordering apps. But uh, <laughs> I've, I've done the drive from L.A. to, to Vegas, and it's a nice, it, depending on traffic, a nice two-hour ordeal. And this track is kind of situated right in the middle. And honestly, the first time I saw this track, I'm like, they actually did a great job, kind of. It, just all the features and, and kind of the surrounding areas. It's very, very, very sandy. A lot of, a lot of very desert area. Uh, so looking at round one, again, this is points-based. Uh, winner gets four points. Second place gets three points. Third place gets two points. Fourth place gets one point. And this is kind of the method as we go through or adding the points up as we go along. And then we're deciding who's advancing uh, into the finals and who, who's going to uh, round four, which is that, which is that that elimination phase is, is round four. You don't want to be in round four. You want to, you want to go straight to <laughs> round unless, five from unless round Unless you want as, lo as much camera time as you can get. That's true. Which, hey, you know. Well, we got most of it already, so we, we don't need to. Yeah. Hey, but let's, okay. let's, let's go more in depth here on round number one. Once again, uh, every single group is going to be taking, is, is going to be uh, racing on this map. So we have one map from the West Coast. It's going to be Golden Hills. One map on the East Coast, which is going to be the Motor Trends Classic Challenge, which is actually in New York City. It's a very, very nice looking map. Uh, each competitor plays each map once, four competitors for a race, and there you go. There's the, the points breakdown that I discussed a little bit earlier. So there's a decent amount of weight here, but once again, uh, going from one rounds one, two, three, there's, there's many opportunities to, to get those points. So it'd be great to, to get, out, get out of the gates in first place, but if they don't do so well, there's still plenty of time to bring it back. Well, that's true. There is enough time for comebacks, and obviously our first round is the mo most, let's say, classic one. We're going onto a track. It is classic circuit racing. So we'll see if yeah. someone might be, like, favorite in terms of track racing. Someone is on the dirt or, you know, what we call freestyle, when you go from A to B and you can choose whatever ra route. Does not happen in our first race. It is a classic race track. They're just normal corners. There is a help in a great, like, technical midsection. We tested that out yesterday when we had a look at the tracks and all that. So it will be interesting, especially when it comes to car choice. Yeah, and, you know, one of the really fun parts about the crew, too, is those different elements. You think of, okay, a closed track environment. You have to stay in your lane. That's what we're going to see in the first in the first track. But as you mentioned, there's there's A to B, there's different uh, tracks and different setups and different ways to approach it. So it's a very malleable setting as far as how you approach each and every race, which should be exciting to see uh, as that unfolds. Like what these what decisions these racers are making on how to, how to, how, to, how to approach that corner. And they've been practicing all day, uh, all morning, I suppose they've been practicing. And then yesterday they were practicing a bunch as well. And I, I was I was kind of sitting behind some of those guys uh, as they were trying to get the fastest time because those are published right away. Once they get those times, everyone can see what time they got. So you have some guys back there that are just doing it, you know, one after another after another after another. And when it comes to racing games, that's pretty important. Knowing your lines, knowing your turns, knowing when to when to use nitro, knowing when to drift. So there's a lot of interesting elements here, and I kind of like that we're starting off with kind of plain and simple. We got a circuit track you know, relatively closed environment. And this is, you know, really fast cars. So this is truly going to be a nice test uh, initially for these guys to see. All right, who's been warming up a little bit? Who's been practicing? I mean, uh, it, it, is a, it is a track. It's touring cars, which is basically like GT race cars. But what we should mention that they don't know which conditions they get. It could be night, day, snowing, whatever, because it's dynamic. It's down to the server. So what's currently on the server, so no one has an impact on that. We're just waiting and see what we get in the first race, if it will be snowing, if it will be in the night. Uh, so here we are, ready for route number one. We will see the east going first. So that is um, the east region you there see currently on the seats, and they will tackle on the west track. And, and we're kind of turning them against each other right here. You know, they're side by side, and you know, technically they're teammates. They have the same shirts on, as you can see. I gotta get, I gotta get myself one of those shirts. Just saying. That's <laughs> Legion. That's Legion at the end, by the way. Uh, if he knew he was on camera right now, I'm sure he would do something hysterical and ridiculous, but I don't know if he knows that just yet. And now we're getting a front shot as well. Um, but 
they're, race, they're racing against each other in this first race, which is a pretty interesting dynamic considering they're in the same region, they're from the same region, they're on the same team technically, but right here, they're going up against each other. So we can, I wonder if there's a little bit of trash talk happening right now, uh, and maybe a little nudge or two as we get underway here. And again, the track is gonna be Golden Hills, and we're gonna jump straight into it as we have a shot of cream there at the top of your screen. And here we go, kicking things off. It looks a little snowy and icy. Okay, uh, G-Runner, I was not expecting this. <laughs> Definitely I, not the best conditions what is gonna for happen race. Here? Uh, Ferrari 4, um, 5.8 here, the Italia GT2 that uh, is raced by cream, but that is crazy. Look at that, it's, it's blistering. There's a lot of ice left and right, but they're still doing good. There's the first oh. final speedy takes off. Hobie is just going oh into God. the wall immediately. And that TC has a chance. Yeah, clashing into him as well, but he's up to second. And look at Jeff, the, a sneaky AI coming on in there. So we do have four AI drivers uh, in the mix as well. So. Uh, a pretty big, a pretty big uh, altercation there between Hova and Speedy W, and for a few embarrassing moments, they were behind the AI. But now they've been able to get in front, and Legion, he's taken advantage, leaping across uh, those two and getting right to the front. We have icy road conditions, and I did not have a chance to actually drive, so I don't know on this on this track when it was snowy and icy. So I'm wondering how the handling's a little different. You got to imagine it's probably a little bit more slippy, slidey, and this is also a two wrap. Uh, excuse me, a two lap. Uh, map here, and we see Legion right now trying to catch up to Cream, but right now it looks like Cream's the guy. He's way out there in front, and I, I don't know if he's going to be caught, but Legion's going to try his hardest to do that. I mean, they're driving similar cars, cars, so it will be hard for Legion to catch back up to Cream here after the first lap. A bit late on the brakes, sliding around, getting the car rotated mid turn there, because there was no other choice for him to get back in. Beautiful livery here on the Ferrari yeah. of Cream, and it's, it seems like he's in the best position. Look at him, he's smiling. He's feeling good right now, obviously, uh, with a bit of gap in between him and Legion. That's the best place to be, but it seems like Homer and Speedy are uh, back on th uh, third and fourth. They're fighting a bit, and I hope that Legion, your favorite, can stay out of that. That is the banged hairpin that we talked about yeah. yesterday. It's the more technical part of the track, but Cream got through there really, really well, so it seems like he could be the first one to score four points. Yeah, it's something to really oh, look at. Oh, look, look at that. A little bit of a crash. Speedy running into the the side there and legion able to get his get a spot back but something i really want everyone to kind of appreciate and, and look at here is the environment look, look around oh look, look around this track this way, and again this is situated kind of in between la and vegas if you if you've made that drive you know what i'm talking about it's kind of a desert i, I personally as someone who lives in la i've not seen this much snow ever there but it's cool to see what that would look like if that were the case uh but look at the mountains on the side and also the windmills out there. We're getting some shots of the windmills out there in the distance as well. Still a bit flat between Legion and like Speedy. I'm, I'm really sorry, man, but no, you're just going back and forth, second and uh, third position here. Cream, he will just run away if they keep fighting like that. But Legion, he wants the second position. He wants the three points because even though it's the same region, they okay. want to be in the top four to not go into the last chance qualifier. And so far, it looks like Cream had the best practice and the best moments here. We saw his start. He was just blistering off the, yep. the start line and left everyone in the dark or here in, in the snow, uh, basically. But Legion, he has to fight off his 86% progressions. That means yeah. we're in the last sector of a lab number two. But look at that, in the, we saw it in the mirror once again. Oh Legion, he's not safe yet on second position. Yeah, he's trying to keep that distance and trying to catch up to first. We can see he's, he's a little bit far in front there. 90% progression, that's a really cool part of the crew too. It gives you that percentage in real time of how far along you are. Do the track, not only that, if you look at the bottom left, the lightning bolt, that's your nitro. It Technically, talking to developers, it's better to let that rise up. But as we see these guys finish, it looks like Cream finishing in first, Legion in second, Speedy is going to be third, and Hova back and forth. Those guys looking at each other, probably talking a little noise, but uh, all smiles over there. And that was really cool. I, I was not expecting the snowy, icy environment. Uh, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know that was going to happen. Uh, I was able to, to race that track just with regular conditions, very sunny, as, as you would normally expect. We had the perfect, like, picturesque yeah. conditions. Oh, That's yeah. what we had. And that was pretty picturesque in its own right, which is the, the snowy landscape, the mountains in the distance, and then the icy track. And I thought it was really cool. You could see the ice kind of going up uh, onto the cars. So I'm, I'm really wondering how much of a, a handling difference that is. It makes me want to jump in and, and, and try out that snowy version. <laughs> Uh, you need, you need to wait there. a bit because currently you're working, casting. I know, I got you know, it. there is like they, they don't give the us game. consoles over here, so we can't check out the game yet or the beta. We need uh, a controller right <laughs> here and just like they have four AI in there. Just just put us. We in could there we could to, jump in there to keep it on. Yeah. It'll be fun. Okay. We'll see if we can make that happen. Well, I don't want to be last and people to see that. Like all the people, well, well, see, uh, see that we're bad. Competitive integrity, something, yeah. something, yeah.
I heard, I heard about that. Yeah. Well, we're not doing it. But obviously, we're going back to the same track yes. again. But this time with the crew from uh, the West region. Yeah, so they are. is on that. And uh, obviously, any, mu uh, any, mu any munition. That's yep. really hard for your And I'm munition. Sorry. Like, like, just like the, the far real side world. There. Yep, ammunition. Ammunition, except and right. ammunition. Very, and very munition. Tricky. Yep, very tricky. We will get there at one point. She is today. And then <laughs> next to Anne is uh, Samara Redway, uh, and then next to her is Typical Gamer, and then Diction. There you see Sarah Redway right in front of you on your screen there. All smiles, getting ready to go. Uh, I'm, I'm wonder. I'm sure they were kind of peeking over and see, seeing what was going on uh, for when the East guys we were, uh, were racing this track. And I kind of wonder if it's going to be the same icy conditions. That would be very fun to see. I got told by the developers it's, it's around like 20 minutes the conditions stay and then like oh, dynamically right. changes Just again. The, but the obviously global, we don't global. know when the server actually switched over to right. the winter mode. Right. So it could be summer by now, or at True. least like spring or yeah, you know. Yeah. So uh, it could be could also be the other way around. So we don't know. Yeah. They will figure out as soon as they actually enter the lobby or run around in the crew to yeah. back to that one track. And I'm pretty sure from the previous round, Speedy, he will be furious by now. He cut that inside of the track, could hold on by the barrier and lost yeah. the second position to Legion again. He had it in his hands already. And it, it was I three points. Early, earlier on too, Speedy collided straight up with, with Hova. Uh, and Legion was way in the back, which is where we're used to seeing him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's, he's my buddy, I can say that. Uh, but Legion got, you know, he was able to be a little bit fortunate there to avoid that collision and uh, get that second place spot. But uh, yeah, here we are looking at the, the West Coast team. Typically, the gamer is still checking out the map. You saw that he's on the map. Which, with that great to zoom feature, I really have to say that. Like, you can zoom in completely and then out of it on the full US yeah. uh, map and see everything in detail. Yep. And it looks like there is still snow. Oh, yeah, it does. I like it. Uh, and, and I want to do another quick note about the, the nitrous. Talking to the developers a little bit, for you guys who are jumping into the open beta, like, what's the strategy there? How do, how, how do you effectively use your nitrous? And um, apparently, it's not good to use it in the very beginning of the race, which might be a little bit counterintuitive. Like, you might be like, OK, you know, got to use my nitro right away. Got to use it. But uh, talking to developers, it's actually better to wait until you're at your top speed. So like, get, get your start off fine without using nitro. But then once you get that top speed, that's when you want to, to to bump in the nitro and make that happen. Also, when you're when you're kind of on the exit of turns and you're trying to get back into that acceleration point on straightaways, that's another great moment to use your nitros. And then the last thing, last tip here that I heard from a developer was, near the end of the race, you want to kind of hold it, hold on to your nitro until the very end, that final straightaway. That that's a great opportunity to use your nitro. So we'll keep, we'll keep a look at that as we jump into the game. Still icing conditions here on Golden Hills, a spot just in between LA and Vegas as we have our eyes on and munition here, approaching that first turn, skidding on over to the side. And, and again, I wonder, uh, those, those icy conditions certainly uh, impacting these drivers as you got to be a little bit more careful on those turns. And had a great start offline, went to first place immediately. Samara is in second, typical game now. Went past after a small mistake by Samara Diction. Uh, until now, it's still on four, so hopefully it can pick up a bit of pace. But Typical Gamer ran a bit wide on that right-hander, down to that banked hairpin. Typical Gamer now starting the attack. Look at that, and right in front of him. He's basically close. part of the rear bumper now, getting very oh, close, sliding oh. off the exit of that turn, giving it to Typical Gamer. He's up to first position. He's uh, smiling about it, obviously. I mean, he, he just got first position gifted to him. Yeah, and, and there we go. The question is, can Typical Gamer hold on to that first place? Uh, ammunition in second, Diction in third, Samara Redway all the way in the back, even behind the AI. So she's going to try to to try to catch back up and figure that out a little bit. Uh, but for now, as we can see, our eyes are on ammunition. Typical gamer right out in front. And, and again, if you're just now, if you're just tuning in or you're just trying out the crew two, I think this is a pretty good spot to start. If you're if you're trying to start your uh, your experience in the crew two, maybe go to the same track, Golden Hills. I think it's a great again a great picture of exactly how the game feels. There's not too much going on as far as you're in a track. You know where you're going. It's it's might might be what you're used to based on uh, previous games. So I, I think it's a, a cool introduction uh, track here for people to try out. But 50% progression. Typical gamer still out in front in front, but you know ammunition. She's got her eyes. Uh, on the prize here, and she's going to try to catch back up. Yeah, but she looked a bit confused at one point when she was running out wide in that corner, going yeah. a bit into the snow. I mean, yeah, Don't with icy condition, conditions, it's harder to spot, but 
the black thing in the middle. That's still the racetrack. That's where we need to go. Diction a bit struggling with the corners. He can't really decide. And Samara is just rushing it right into the wall. All the forces, but I can tell you, you can't move that wall. You can crash a lot of different objects in the game, but not that wall. No. Stay away from it. <laughs> uh, that won't work. And he's still on second. Typical gamer is in the lead, and he's always still in that bit of... Yeah. Sneaky wall riding here and there yeah. uh, to not lose momentum. Yeah. I, I, I really have to say, I, I don't want to take it away from someone, but Diction in third, that is a gift just because Samara did a mistake. But currently, he's not really up to the task of winning this race. Yeah. Struggling with corners, not really sure if he should drift or stay clean and do the grip way. So um, he's struggling. Maybe he will pick up pace a bit later. Yeah, and you know, you have some gradual turns here on this track, but there's also some tighter turns. And, and right now we're looking at ammunition, some gradual turns. She's about to go to a bit of a hairpin here. It's a very tight turn, and there's some drift options you can do to try to stay on the road. Uh, she handled that pretty nicely. I, I like that. But that can be tricky for, if, you, if you're newer to the game, that can be trickier to master those really tight turns. But once you once you get the flow of it, uh, it can really work out well for you. And now we have uh, eyes on Samara there. Now back to typical gamer. Samara, Samara maybe had, like on the left side, she got spikes. On the right side, she got racing tires. So yep. she decided to jump, uh, <laughs> drop the left into the snow. But it is typical gamer taking is. the win the fist on bump. the second round. Yeah, all of, we once have to say all of the, the um, regions are currently racing. Yes. They all Indeed. did it at the same time, but we yep. only see uh, the West right now. Yeah, South and Midwest are currently racing uh, behind the curtain here in this round one. This is round one of competition. And now we're two races down. West done, East done. We had, uh, was it Speedy? Was it Speedy who won that first one? No, no. It, it, first one was won by Cream. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. 10. It was Legion in second. Yeah. Oh, no, it's, ten. it's not 10. It's four. Four yeah, it's points. Four, four, three, two, one. And then three we had, for Legion, had typical gamer win three for the N. West Coast. And then two for two for Diction, one for Samara. Well, I just try to do the live map so we actually know what we what we're talking <laughs> about later on. And I can tell you that's the hardest part on camera, yeah. trying to calculate points on camera. Um, can make for some embarrassing moments. So I will <laughs> I leave know. that to you. Hey, you know what? Typical gamer <laughs> got first in the race that we just saw, and he did a great job with it. And I think Ammunition had a moment where she was in the front near the beginning, but then. Typical she had gamer. a great start on yeah, the line. Yeah, great start, but that typical gamer was able to pass, and then from there he just he just took off. Kind of what we saw in the first in the first race uh, from the East Coast from the East guys uh, with Cream. He kind of he kind of held the front. Could and, be the and nitro, more. nitro stuff you said. Yeah, you said not from the line, and I think N yeah. did it from the line. Maybe. And uh, we saw the same on the East group. Yeah. So different I'm just, tactics. I'm just saying what the developer told me. I mean, to <laughs> me, like I'm like you know, like what, what do you want to just what do you want to just be the fastest from the start? But uh, we'll see how the strategies develop as as the day continues. That stream. Talking about all the strategies, I'm pretty sure the winner's got them all laid out. Shaq is with him for an interview. Hey guys, I'm hanging out with the round one winners, also known as the first two guys with the targets on their back. <laughs> there we go. It seems like there was a little bit of an unexpected southern storm or a uh, winter storm that blew through the desert. There was. It was a bit of an oddity to say the least, but uh, you know what? It added a bit to the uniqueness of it. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, so who's the threat? Who's the threat? Yeah. So who, I mean, you, you now are obviously going to be followed and, and targeted. So what's your, what's your biggest threat? Um, I saw Slap Train doing a lot of good times yesterday, so I'm pretty worried about him. OK. Yeah. All right, well, how about you, man? Uh, you know, I think it's uh, the AI vehicles. They get in my way sometimes, and then just blocks me up. But besides that, I think we're golden. I think, you know, came out with a strong performance here. I'm looking at my, 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 myself in the reflection of the trophy, so I'm excited. I'm like, man. There's, there's a lot of confidence. I'm my team, man. They're, they're the best team on the planet. Okay, okay. So Running. Doing. Cool, guys. Well, hey, good luck in the rest of the competition. Let's throw it back over to this, the caster's desk. Thanks, Shaq. And yet we, we know that from a lot of movies, AI can be a problem one day. Yeah, look Seems out. like that day just came. Here, here we are, <laughs> uh, open beta, the crew too. That's exactly what's happening. Uh, but I love, I love the confidence there from typical gamer. He's like, you know what? I, I see my reflection in the trophy. That means, yeah, but you know why? It's probably going to be mine because someone else is lifting it, and he can see uh, his reflection in the trophy. Could be, could be. Da -da -dum. I mean, as the rounds unfold, we yeah, will, we we're will, just starting. We'll get the answers to those questions. Yeah, yeah, we just saw two rounds, which means that now we go over to the next track, yep. uh, which is the Motor Trend Classic Challenge. Yeah. Same teams once again. We're going west first, then uh, no, east first, then seen west, but on a, a different track. Tell me more about that next track. So we're going to New York next, and it's pretty fun. Um, how many times did we tackle it? Was it once or was it twice? I think I, th I, I tried. I tried, tried to do times. it. Yeah, I tried to do it more and more because it's 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 pretty fun, but it's also a little deceptive. I'm pretty sure that this track uh, has some shortcuts. 
actually, because it is because I remember. Now. Yeah, totally so, different. And we're gonna have we're gonna see rather than the defined barriers that we just saw in Golden Hills, we're definitely in a city environment where you can crash into things on the side. It's not completely obvious where you're going. You have to look out for the arrows. It's a little bit chaotic in that sense. So. Uh, definitely more repetition, the better that you could put on this track to really learn it and understand it. And there was a the moment where, like, I get out in front, right? That, that's what I do. Not really. But I, I, get, I get out in front in this specific circumstance, and I, I do this turn, and then as I'm coming back, I see the AI coming from somewhere else. And I'm like, taking a shortcut. What just happened there? There's something going on there. So I think... Be smart. Totally. So, so this game, open world, there's a lot of exploring. There's Easter eggs here and there. I was, I was talking to developers about that too. So that element certainly ties into the tracks, I, I believe, as well, as there were moments where the AI found shortcuts, and I'm like, okay, I guess I got to look out for that on the second map. And I think, I, I want to say it's like three-fourths through the lap. I, I believe it's a two-lap uh, race here, and I, I believe it's around three-fourths of the way through. There's a ramp that kind of goes through the city that's off to the left, even though the arrows point to the right. So, again, we'll, we'll kind of let it unfold and see what happens. But definitely a, a really nice, a lot of really nice character in this upcoming map. Uh, the setting is Manhattan, so you got lots of skyscrapers here and there. Uh, you got, I wonder if there's traffic. I, I'm certain in, on some of these tracks there's some traffic that you might have to deal with, uh, which just adds another element to the ball game when you're not only having to deal with your fellow drivers, <laughs> And, uh, AI. and AI, but also you have traffic that might have might appear. Uh, a lot of object, uh, objectives they will have on that one because there are a lot of stuff you can crash. Yes. So you yes. can get rid of all that stuff that actually keeps you away from uh, winning of the race on the next one. It is street racing, which also means yeah. that they're allowed to build their own cars, which they did in the practice session already. Uh, obviously, there needs to be some rules to that, so they have to stick to specific performance level, mm -hmm. but they can choose whatever they want. Yeah, and I'm, I'm pretty curious, too, uh, you know, as this day unfolds as well, we'll be getting results in coming in from uh, the South and Midwest. And we saw, I, I believe it was Cream there, who was talking about when, uh, when Shaq was asking, all right, who's the threat? Who's, who are we looking out for? And they were talking about the slap train. And he's in uh, the Midwest division. And they have these, they have these uh, leaderboards that you're able to see what their times are. Uh, and they're basically published, so anyone can see them. And I want to say, spoiler alert, Slap Train was like at the top of pretty much every leader. He branded all of them. Yeah. Uh, so I think he like he set out and just started getting the best times, and then just kept improving his own times. And then I actually, I actually saw some of the guys on East kind of looking at that, and they're like, how, how does how is he so fast? How is he getting these times? So that story has yet to unfold, and we'll be we'll be seeing uh, what's going on there. We're gonna get the true scoop on what's going on because there's some there's some fast drivers here competing. That is true, but we're here revving engines already. It's off to the next uh, track with the East guys tackling on uh, the Motor Trend Classic Challenge. Yep. It's still all in a good mood, like your guy Legion in the back. Yeah, there he is. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking for those reactions. Legion, you're on camera. Do something silly. You know, he'll tell him that this will go wrong. <laughs> yeah. I think, I don't know, they shouldn't be talking strategy because they're against each other right now. He's probably trying to get in their heads. Oh, he just tries to Come on, Legion, some do tips. something silly. Do something silly. Dang it. All right. He can't hear you. I know. Should you walk over there and just tell him? I, I might. I you might, can write. Might you can write a letter and hold exactly. it. You might see it. Someone should just cue him while he's on camera. <laughs> this, this, this guy's a character. Uh, definitely ch check these guys out on all their respective uh, accounts. Uh, if Google's the way to do it, go for it. We're looking at Cream, Speedy W03, Hova, and Legion uh, from the East Coast there. And you can see they're all smiles, making jokes, getting ready to go here. As we're gonna see what kind of weather. I'm, I'm curious if the snow stuck around. Yes, it did. I love it. Although the sun's kind of coming out. But look now at that. Cream is on the motorbike. I didn't expect I, it that okay. at all. Totally uh, different handling to the rest. We see some supercars, there's a Porsche 911, a Lamborghini. I think that's oh. a Huracan. Everyone running a bit wide. Another Porsche, and it should be a classic American muscle up front. Currently, it's Aaron, the uh, AI that was leading, but now he's been left in the snow once again. Oh, Lee. Lee. wow! Someone just <laughs> flew off into the distance. Oh my gosh, okay. I, I definitely did not expect the bike either. And I'm wondering if he's reconsidering that decision because he keeps, so. he keeps just like <laughs> flying off in the, the, into the distance and we don't know what's going on. But anyway, Legion so finds himself in the front. Like he's going to try to stay up there. We got some tight turns here. We saw a bump in the back. Speedy, a little bump there on Legion, able to sneak by him. Uh, you can see all these hard turns. And again, it's not as intuitive as the, the racetrack we just saw, Golden Hills, where you had the barriers. It's nice and comfortable. Right here, there's a lot going on. You see the cones, you see the signs, you see everything flipping off into, into the air. You got the, the, the arrows actually turning and you can actually 
you can bump the arrows away, and then the people behind you don't necessarily know where to go, so you always have to keep your eye on the checkpoint. You see, that was essentially a shortcut. We just saw Cream take that. I didn't even know that was there. There are different ways to get to these locations depending on the track that you're racing on. I'm wondering right there on the left, I wonder if you can go over that bridge. Like, now I want to go back and try that because the, the arrows point to the right. But I wonder if you can actually go on that bridge and that's a shortcut. Who knows, man? This game, it's all about exploring as well and finding out uh, how to optimize these, these lines and, and, and try to decide what track you want to take. But for now, we're going to actually take a listen in and see what these guys are talking about in the race. Yeah, you are, dude. You're garbage. Again. You're trash can, dude. We're on the same team. I love you, but you're still trash. Jesus, we love Hey, you hold it, cream! Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's a guard. That's like a guide rig, right? Stretch. All right, there's a little a little taste of what these guys are, are talking about as we head to the finish line. Our our motorcycle, uh, Cream, he was able to make it happen somehow, some way. Uh, I, I think I saw him get flipped up into the air at least four times in that race, so I am shocked that he got first again. I am actually shocked. I don't know how he did it. Braves man a lot. You kidding Lightning? me? In a motorcycle while we're in winter mode. Uh, everyone else in a car. Yeah, everyone else went for a car, and Cream was just like, you know what? If everyone takes a car, we'll just take a motorbike, show you guys how it's, do how it's done. But he was struggling a bit still with that shortcut. Yeah. He got it on top. I, was that what did it? Because like we, we yeah, saw he was, him he was that forward. alley. I didn't he even know forward. that existed. He missed. He missed um, going left. Yeah. Crashed into the wall. But then realized there was a path forward. right yeah. to the checkpoint. And then uh, he just came out on top. That is that kind of surprising. But I, I love seeing a motorbike win. Yeah, I think uh, I, I like the variation that we're seeing in, in what these guys are selecting. And I don't think anyone knew that we would get snow. It just happened. Again, that's just how it works in, in the crew, too. You, you don't know what environment that you're going to encounter. It changes constantly. Uh, I'm pretty sure Legion got second there again. Did he? I'm, I will I'm write sure. that Did down you? if you say so. I'm pretty sure that's what I, I saw. Write that down. I'm pretty sure actually the, the standings were pretty identical uh, to what we saw in the first race. But we'll we'll get all the official totals on that for you guys. But uh, yeah, I the, the first big surprise for me there was just the motorbike. It's like, come on, I, I did not even, is that how confident he is? That he's just like, all right, I'll just use a motorbike. And then it, from the start, we just see him kind of have a lot of trouble with it. But somehow, some way, he gets first. Yeah, that was, a, that was a good race by the East. Obviously, we'll see the West now and, and see if one of them maybe picks up that bike. Now, they had to build their cars previously, so I I guess there, there will be no one brave enough to just say, hey, guess what? I'll change that to a, car, uh, to a bike because Cream showed us uh, that you can win with it because it was a lot harder. Turning around yeah. corners on a bike. I don't know if I would do that, car. especially in King of the Road Trip. This, this, is, this is a competition. You know, these guys are trying to be the best. They're trying to win. And then he goes out and just picks the bike. I, I, that's crazy. I, uh, maybe uh, I think Shaggle will probably interview him again uh, after after this next this match here, since he he won again. So maybe we can get some insight on that a little bit later. But now we're taking a look at this West Coast team and munition that's Samara Redway. You see on your screen again. Uh, go support these guys. Uh, they have they have Twitch channels. They've got YouTube's. You know most of these guys have have channels out there. So definitely go support and check out their stuff. Uh, there we see Diction is the closest to us, and then Typical Gamer there in that second seat, he was able to win uh, in the first race uh, amongst these four. So we'll have to see if he can he can keep it up. And then my other question is, is Typical Gamer going to choose the bike? What do you think, G-Runner? I'm not sure. I, I don't see anyone. I don't see him doing it. Okay, the yeah, there we no, go. There's, Back to there's the no bike, but two Whoa. points just crushed and into the roll right at the start. Typical Gamer, he got away very well. It's just Aaron once again, the best AI in town. Uh, that is first, but now he got that place back. Diction. Oh, yeah, third, wait. It's going to be a See, one. I don't even know. Is that a shortcut? Someone just careened off through the sign. But I don't know what's a shortcut or not. That's just how it works. I mean, you don't I want someone. You're not, I want you're not someone. one of the drivers. <laughs> yeah. It's typical gamer. Uh, Annie and then Diction. You got to hit those checkpoints, though. Samara is a bit in the back. I mean, seventh, that's not where she wants to be at the start of this race, but there's still plenty of time to get back. We saw that with Cream, who was able to go from fourth to first. Bit of wall riding once again from typical gamer. It seems oh, like there's a typical that's gamer move to crash into that uh, wall. That's a person. With this right. Ferrari, I can tell you in real life, that would have been right. expensive. That lady was wearing a tank top, and, and it's, it looks at least 10 degrees. That's Manhattan, man. That's totally Is that just fine. how it, all right? Yeah, that's realistic. That's all good. I mean, I'm not American, but I can imagine people that is brave running around like that. That is very brave. And look at this, we're seeing tents in the middle of the road. These guys just in a destructive attitude right now. I love it. Uh, a typical gamer, he's keeping that spot in the front, even though 
I want someone to take that bridge. I, I just want to see what happens. But they can't. I think it's not possible. You don't think so? No, no, no. Look at that, that. Typical gamer. Always, he keeps his he keeps his nitrous for the walls and then just boost along those walls. Yeah. And he cannot cannot. I guess the base. walls. I mean, they don't slow you down as much. Uh, it's I, uh, okay. Actually, I think we are gonna we're gonna listen in and see what these guys are talking about. So let's uh, take a listen. Woo! I crashed. Coming in hot at sixth place. Watch around. Yeah, looks like they're pretty focused. Yeah, they're focused on their. Oh, their look at that typical what game of there. Overtated the car. Was not able to clear that corner as it should be. Oh, he got but first. Yeah, he, he finished he already. The okay. Oh, Samara okay. Redway, though, she was all the way in the back and she ended up getting second. That's awesome. Uh, That's surprising. Uh, ammunition in third and Diction is going to be fourth amongst this grouping. But typical gamer, once again, uh, he saw his face on the trophy and he wants to, to make that destiny unfold. Uh, and, and he did a good job with it. I mean, he ran into a wall straight up, but still able to uh, to finish that in first place. Very well done. It, w it was a bit surprising to me how Samara got second position. Is that another yeah. thing of there was a shortcut and I just saw it, saw it pumping up in front of me, got through? I feel like with the launch of the open beta and with the launch of this game on June 29th, like we're going to have all of that unfolding. Everyone just doing the work to try to figure out, OK, where are the shortcuts? What's the best way to make these times? You talk about speed running, right? Uh, I think it's definitely going to be a community effort to find out what the heck is going on in some of these some of these maps because there are hidden shortcuts, there are secrets, there are Easter eggs that we don't know about yet, and that's part of the fun, uh, especially when a new game's coming out to jump in and see what you can discover. And if you're the if you're the one who discovers something and then you post a screenshot, then you, you get to be the cool guy on the block. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That's how you get friends. Yeah, exactly. Just help them out on the crew too to find all those shortcuts. But I have to say, uh, I mean, there was no bike in it which is fine. Yeah. I was really surprised by having a bike at all. But the race, were, it just shows that there's always a way for a comeback. It doesn't matter where you have been like in the first yeah. lap or in the first part of the race. Just stick to it, drive it, try to find new ways to be quicker than them. I mean, we saw a typical gamer's way of just sliding along the walls. Others didn't do that. Yeah. So uh, it might be quick, but it's not. I think it's not as viable on street racing as it is on circuit racing yeah. due to not that many walls you can just ride along. For sure. I mean, at the same time, we're seeing the buildings. I mean, typical gamer, he just ran straight into a building. That's not going to happen on Golden Hills, right? There's no, there's no just straight up areas that you can run into on that track. Uh, but that, that's what you get with, with street racing as well. So uh, very curious to see uh, how, these, how these different drivers approach each of these tracks. You know, some players, they get nervous when doing an interview. Mm. I'm pretty sure those two with Shaq right now are not because Same they're getting guys. used to it. They always win. And Shaq, is with, uh, Shaq is with them. Hey, guys. It's a little bit of deja vu here. Uh, it's kind of becoming a bit of a habit. So more snow, different racing. Mm -hmm. What do you prefer better, the controlled or just freestyle across the city. I like the the wild card of the snow in the city. It was actually a good time. Yeah. yeah. How about you? Yeah, I think it was a pretty good time. It threw me off a little bit. You know, I smacked directly into a wall, but I think that just made me stronger, you know? It, it made me pick myself up and want to cut more lines. You know, at least you're learning from your mistakes. Exactly. That's great. Well, look, I mean, moving into the next round, what's your strategies? Uh, my strategy is just go fast and hope I don't hit the wall too much every time. <laughs> How about you, man? I have the exact same thing. You know, um, racing with other people, there's a lot more chance of sort of them crashing into you. So I think getting away from the pack at the start or even just waiting until there's an opportunity, I think that's the key right there. All right, guys. Well, great job. I have a feeling I'm going to talk to you some more in the future. I'm going to throw it back over to Renee and Alex. Yeah, that could happen, that they do more interviews, at least if they're going like that. Round one is done for every single region since they were racing in the back, some were racing on the stage, which means we will have our first look soon onto yep. uh, the current leaderboard, the current scoreboard, so to say. But yeah, with a typical gamer and Cream winning both of their races, it's pretty obvious who is leading. And yeah, I mean, those faces, uh, that was for sure. Yeah, and we can see the point total there. Cream and Typical Gamer with eight points apiece. And then we can kind of see what's happening in the back over there. A little bit of a variation in the results. I'm a little bit surprised by this. The slap train with only six points. I, I was thinking he'd, he'd be up at eight. And yeah, that and will be a win and a third position, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, uh, there's, there's a few different uh, variations that can lead to that. But there you see the rundown. Um, and there we see the bottom eight. Legion just barely in ninth place. Uh, as we're going on down the line there, and as we see all of these results unfold, 
Still a ton of potential for a lot of movement to happen here, especially as we move into round two, where we're basically doing the same thing. We're going to switch up uh, who, who our featured uh, racers are on the stage. So we're going to be taking a closer look at the South region and the Midwest region upcoming here pretty soon. Uh, and, th and then they will also be playing, uh, they'll be driving on different maps, of course. We just, we saw Golden Hills in the Nevada desert right in between LA and Vegas. And we saw uh, uh, the Motor Trends Classic Challenge. And again, you can you can play both these races right now, both these tracks right now in the open beta. Um, you can, uh, and that's in Manhattan. Very nice uh, city landscape. But I'm, I'm kind of excited for what's to come. We haven't really said much about it. We're kind of alluding to it here and there. But again, if, if there's one thing about the crew too, it's just the variation that you see, just the, the sheer differences in, in what environments you encounter, the different track styles, the different terrain, the different weather. And, and that's hard to prepare for, which for our purposes is very fun. I mean, it's way better. If, if they would know every single line, yeah. then racing would be a bit more boring. Obviously, we wouldn't have Samara just going back from fourth to second. Uh, so I like that. I'm pretty sure we'll see way more than that because that was only round number one, and we yeah. only saw two of the regions so far uh, on the stage. And I know the South, for example, uh, they have that dude in blue and uh, TC Gaming. Yeah, so that's but they were near, they were a little bit lower, which which surprised me in the because overall standing. Because they have a stronger group. Right, so there's a lot of different variations in the placements, right. which might be better for, for the guys we just saw, both getting first place on the West and East. And again, after round three, our top four go straight to the final. So that's what we're looking out for. But Shaq, he found a better place. He found a relaxed couch. Hey guys, I'm hanging out with, this, with Slap. You guys got to go do the Porsche experience. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. But I'd I got a couple questions. Okay. So what's your daily driver? I have an 03 G35 six-speed coupe. Uh, okay. It's fun. It's not as fast as the 911, right? But yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, it gets me to point A to B. So when you were a kid, what was like? You know, growing up, what was that car? Like when I have the means, this is my dream car. Dodge Viper, '70 Chevelle, '70 Nova, Duster, which we have one here, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I mean, anything muscle, I love. I'm just a big muscle guy. Well, man, you guys got to drive the GT3. Yeah. Let's check it out. All right, let's do it. Hey guys, my name is Kuli. We're at the Porsche Driving Experience. I'm gonna be taking around a GT3 for a few laps and see how it's done. I see you have your new proper safety gear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, all that space out the hat was kind of in the way a little bit, but yeah, I mean, yeah. it was all right though. You put your foot down though on this thing and it just starts playing music. It kind of feels like you're you're killing it though, right? Yeah, I mean, well, until the driver gets in there and then it's it, it's a lot faster. And then they show you what it's really like. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Look at the drive, look at the coach uh, He there. looks a little bit nervous, doesn't he? He does. <laughs> we did the tire, the, yeah. Uh, maybe it was the off-road. Right yeah, they showed that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, I was I was very impressed with the braking. It was just, I mean, we don't see the line of sight that he sees, right? So when you're going into these corners, you're, all right, stop. And yeah, yeah. We're just, we're just making it through. But I mean, full, uh, like, trust in the drivers there. They're absolutely incredible. Well, is this is this tears or sweat? I'm sweating. It's it, it's hot. Oh, right? okay. It, okay. It, it, was, it was pretty hot. We oh, did a little drift around, around, yeah. Going it around. Nice. That, right? that had a big smile was, on my face for that, for sure. That was a lot of fun, man. It went sideways, had a blast. Man's good, I'll tell you that. Right? Yeah. I kind of feel like you're lost of words a little bit. I was, I was. Uh, yeah. I don't I don't really get to do that on a daily basis, so it was it was uh, quite the experience for sure. So it was a lot of fun? Oh, jeez, yeah. That's cool, man. I would do it again tomorrow if I could. Right on. Well, I missed it. Uh, I wish I could have, so I just have to live for you guys. That's fine. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out and watching us. Uh, we're going to, we'll be right back with round two. Thank you. Okay, I'm back here with Julian, and we are getting ready for round two. Absolutely. Can you believe it? <laughs> Super exciting. And this time we're going to be doing some off-roading? Yeah, absolutely. So okay. uh, the first event will be uh, like in the bayou. Mm -hmm. So it's a rally Down red. Yeah, absolutely. Love it. So it's a rally red discipline. So there it's a little bit different. It's a time attack. And then you have to go to A to B. But uh, the good thing there is uh, like you need to find your own path. You choose your path. So you, you can be faster or it could be not the good path to get to be and then to want. So it's a very different experience. It's very, it's more open. It's within nature in Bayou. Mm -hmm. So it's very different compared to the previous one and what we saw. No course and going to the swamp. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And the second, and beware of the alligator. Ah, <laughs> the gators. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the second event will be the Papa John event. So it's a street race, but it's a little bit different. It's in the countryside. So it's not in the city. You are starting in San Luis and then you are driving and they are all going to drive with the Papa John, the real Papa John car. It's a Camaro. Okay, Julian, sounds awesome. Let's take a sneak peek at the Midwest and South regions. Here it is.
My name is Bryce McQuaid. I go by Bryce Games on the internet, and today I'm going to be representing the Midwest. The best thing about the Midwest is the Chicago pizza. Giordano's is where it's at. Definitely the best. My favorite part about the Midwest has to be the Great Lakes. I love water, and they have three giant bodies of water there. My favorite part about the region is probably the climate and the weather. From one stance, you could have a bunch of winter snow, and then the next day, you could have a lot of sun. Favorite part of the Midwest, uh, it's gotta be Wisconsin. I grew up watching that 70s show. They were based in the heart of Wisconsin. Probably wasn't filmed there, but. My name is Anthony, AKA Big Jiggly Panda, and I am representing the South. My favorite part about the South is just that Southern hospitality. Just that love to talk to people. <laughs> I think my favorite part about the South is probably how it can go from mountains and winding roads and waterfalls to like massive city in a matter of like two hours. I'm actually from Ireland, the South of Ireland, and that's kind of like the South of the US. So here I am. If you've never been to the South, it's gonna be hot, and then it's gonna rain, and it's gonna be hot again, and you won't know what's happening, and you won't know what to wear. One of my favorite things about the South, or road tripping through the South, is that there's a lot of hidden back roads that nobody knows about. So when you find this special road that's basically yours, it's really cool once you master it. You can improve your driving skill on the main road, which is Totally not recommended by the law, but it's still a lot of fun. So my very first car was a 95 Ford Explorer. I know, super glamorous, but I was so proud of that car because I bought it with my own money. I got like a job, I worked a whole summer. My first car was a Kia Spectra. I drove that thing for two weeks before somebody drove me off the road. For the next two years that I owned that car, it was just like, it looked like I took that thing to derbies, man. But, hey, got me from A to B. It picked up the ladies, it picked up the friends. What else do you need? <laughs> My very first car never existed. I've only driven a car in the crew. It's the only time. Let's keep that a secret, though. Don't, don't tell anyone else. <laughs>
make sure they're in they're in a nice shape here. But uh, you got to remember, they're racing against each other. So while they might be very pleasant to each other now, once we get into the race, there is no such pleasantry as each of them have one objective, and, is, and that is to cross that finish line in first place and get as many points as possible for themselves so that they can advance to the finals and become the king of the road trip. Yeah, so they don't need to go into last chance qualifier because that's what everyone tr tries to avoid. That's big Jiggly Panda right now yeah. on the camera. He's jiggling, he's smiling. <laughs> Everything and is all right. This and is, next is Forrest. Yeah, this yeah. is Forrest. And he, this guy has been getting the fast times uh, before the event started. He's been getting a lot of the fast times. And that dude in blue, another guy who's also been getting some of the Yeah, I think I will put my money on that on David, that dude in blue. Really? Uh, he's really, really good. He knows okay. how to drive real cars. Uh, I mean, he does a lot of videos about like real cars and testing them. A lot of okay. um, modifications to them you could never do in Europe, especially not in Germany. Uh, that will never be allowed. Uh, but he can run all of them on different cars. But they started already. It's an A to B race. And currently it is the, um, that dude in blue and TC Gaming. They're fighting for the lead. Jigglypon a bit in the back, smashing it in the rear of yeah. uh, TC 9700. But he might overtake the AI on that right hand. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Oh. But that dude in blue, he struggles a bit. Look at that. He's going left, right. Then with that uh, suspension right over uh, the bumper there, it's not that easy. And he's even behind AI. That's definitely not the place where these two oh. do, like yeah, that dude in blue and Daiti want to be right now. Yeah, this is that Papa John's course here, starting in that residential area, as we also see some traffic, Big Jiggly Panda nearly smashing into the back of that uh, that truck there. But now as we leave the residential area, we're on a little country road, oh, look out for the bus, the gate. You gotta look out for that traffic. <laughs> Don't drive on the wrong side of the road. And now he's getting bumped behind. Is that AI? No, it's that dude in blue. So right next to each other, that dude in blue and Big Jiggly Panda. But our AI, uh, Rodney, out in front, no one would have expected that. But again, going from residential, and now we're on kind of a road, and, and we'll see where this takes us, but a little bit deeper into the countryside here. Yeah, I mean, uh, Big Jiggly Pan had no chance to cross that because AI just blocked oh. him and someone missed uh, the checkpoint. It's Daiti. He go needs back. to turn around. He needs to go back to the checkpoint. That will oh. cost a lot of time. That Doom Blue currently in first, Panda in oh. second, and then it's uh, TC 9700 Gaming on a fifth. But they're fighting. David, he's now up front, but he's being chased by Panda and he's not giving up. Look at him. He's, he's focusing on that dude in blue right now, a great cut. Oh, don't miss David, it. I think Jiggly Panda went to beat outside. Uh, same for gaming. Both did he get really it? miss it. Forrest. And Rodney, AI is back once again. Because what happens if AI gets king That's of the road? That's a great though? question. I Stay tuned on that. <laughs> the uh, player two has certainly entered the game. AI, uh, a force to be reckoned with here. 59% uh, progression we're seeing, by the way. Taking a look at Big Jiggly Panda right now, sitting in sixth place, just passing. Actually, all uh, most of our drivers in the back three right now. But we're going to. We're going to take a listen in and see what these guys are talking about uh, in this track. Clearly, we don't have Z. Oh, no! Oh! Clearly, we don't have Xenon headlights. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. It's all over. I got to reset. Oh, no, you went that far off track. Oh, I, I got stuck behind it. Okay, that dude in blue is our only hope for Team South. Okay, now I just got pedestrians throwing me off the road. Jesus Sorry, Christ. I'm just being quiet to concentrate. Panda like an axe in the forest, but it didn't already work. Yeah. He couldn't get rid of that. A uh, one big tray right in front of him. So he is currently on eighth, which is the worst position. And that dude in blue, he, he got is three so AI. Far ahead. He got three AI behind him before there's the first. Yeah. Uh, ne like there's the next content trader coming up. We can see the yardage kind of pictured there. 600 to 200. That's a 400 yard advantage. You see the math there? There you go. Wow. That's a huge Good advantage part. there <laughs> <laughs> by that dude in blue, crushing it out in front. And uh, we see Forrest technically in second among the human players, but Neil, the AI, uh, leaping ahead of that dude in blue. That's good. That's a pretty intense race for first. 87% progression, and we just saw that dude in blue finishing in first. Neil from the AI, uh, Terrence as well, second and third. But for points purposes, uh, that dude in blue first. TC 9700 Gaming, aka Forrest, there in second, and. Uh, I think Denagla actually it's, it's kind of sad. And Big Julie Pan and Flick. It's kind of sad that Neil didn't make it because I would have loved uh, Shaq to interview the AI. Uh, that <laughs> would have been, yeah. Race. That would be hilarious. Like, I can we please talk to uh, <laughs> the processor? Bring TV. out uh, whatever uh, Amazon Echo or one of those devices. One of those, just find one of those AI devices. And yeah. Them Easy. The AI. We'll just do that. Best we'll just do, do that next. But uh, it was that dude in blue winning. Yeah. So we're lucky. Yeah. And. Very interesting kind of environment there as well. Kind of starting residential and then more or less going in the countryside. We saw traffic become a factor in a big way. Uh, and then as well, the nighttime. 
I, I, I found that pretty difficult, honestly. Like, if, if you're driving there and it's nighttime, I could definitely see the challenges that, that might come in there where you really can't see the road as well. We saw some missed checkpoints here and there. You got to watch out for that. And, and this was also point A to point B. This wasn't a lap type environment. So point A to point B, you can kind of decide your own way, but you want to hit those checkpoints. So so that that's pretty much the limiting factor there where you can kind of go your own way, but you, just, you have to hit those checkpoints. And we saw once or twice some of our racers having to loop around and try to get through that checkpoint again to, to stay in the race. It's just really important to decide when you can cut a corner and when you can't. Right. Obviously, we saw David cutting it, and Panda was like a bit late to that, tried to throw his car into that apex to get around, but then nearly missing that checkpoint. So you have to be on point. You need to know like how hard that corner will hit on your car. Obviously, you've got all the momentum pushing you to the outside, away from the checkpoint. And it seems like some of those guys didn't really uh, calculate that. Obviously, yeah. we ran our uh, tries in daytime, which we did. was a lot yeah. easier. Because you yeah. see all the uh, um, ob objections, like everything that can keep you away from the checkpoint, you can see it clearly. In nighttime, completely different stuff. Yeah, I love the different environments that we're seeing. We started with snow, and now we're getting into nighttime. And we're about to jump into the next race here. It's going to be the Midwest region. We just saw the South in action. And now we're going all the way to the Midwest, legendary Leah Jackal Tremotive, the Slap Train Bryce Games. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say um, Slap Train there in the second seat, but now you're getting a shot of legendary Leah and uh, all these guys from the Midwest area racing against each other. So it's all fun and games until you're, 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 you're racing against the people next to you. So we'll see the intensity. And we can already see the Slap Train there in the middle. He's kind of hunched forward, pretty focused, making sure he's got his, his, his uh, eyes square on the screen there the backwards cap as well. So I think he's a guy definitely to look out for, especially considering we saw him a little bit further down in the standings, at least uh, after the first after the first round. So I really expect the slap train to to make something happen here. I mean, his, cap, well, his cap is just yeah. like that due to aerodynamic reasons. Indeed. We all know that. He just wants to kind of getting right. low to the yeah, ground down too. Down force yeah. and all that. Yeah. But we Same started track. the race. Slap turn currently in the lead. Legendary Leia on second, but she's fighting hard with Jack. Jack went onto the inside, made it through. Legendary Leia. Did she not miss the checkpoint? That hit was it. lucky. Yeah. I think she barely uh, hit it. I thought she over rotated it and slid the way uh, out of that Tricky checkpoint. Turn. But she's back in there. All the way down on Neil. Past them as well. But yeah, this, this Slap train leading. Bryce game nice. second. Jack okay. on a third. And Legendary Leia, she's currently dropping. But after that cut, Ooh. back and forth. Yeah, and remember, first first part of this race, again, point A to point B, starting in the residential area, and now kind of going on the, on the countryside here, kind of a country road, uh, heading on out uh, of that residential area. And you see in the front the slap train, he is pedaled to the metal right there, really way out in front. We're getting a shot of him right now, using that nitro, as you can see. Um, and he's just, he's just taking it away. Uh, and actually, it, is it getting a little brighter outside? We're still in the nighttime here, so we'll keep an eye on that. But also, we could see him kind of checking behind him as well. But Slap Train trying to run away with this. He knows where he sits in the standing, so he's trying to get himself as many points as possible. And we see Jack Ultra just behind him and Bryce. That's, the, that's a big battle happening right now between second and third. Bryce and Jack going back and forth here in Legendary Leah. Not too far behind them, but right now, it's battle for second. Yeah, when Slap Train is turning into serious mode, then there's not much that yep. can stop him. And obviously, Jack and Bryce, they, they will try to stop him, yeah. but that so might be hard. It's just fighting for, for uh, three or two points for them, at least right now, unless he makes a mistake. I think that what's caused the uh, current leaderboard. I think yes. Slap Train just did a huge mistake on oh, no, no. the previous one, and Legendary Leo nearly missing a checkpoint, but she got back. Rotated the car a bit more. I think it's to the left. Yeah. Oh, it's pitch black now. I know. It's really hard. We to played it in the find, day. This is crazy. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. Completely different story right now. But Jack on to Bryce. Slipstream going through on the inside. Got a perfect shot at the checkpoint. Seems like Snap Train did a small mistake. Lost all of his momentum in the lead, but he's still oh, okay, leading. Bryce. And I think the gap is long enough. 69% of progression right now. Still a lot. A lot of room to make mistakes. Yeah, I think we're going to actually take a listen in and try to hear what these guys are talking about during this race. Come on. Give me All right. Again. Yeah, I mean, so, you know it, what? It's a hot race. Especially the last yeah, yeah. the last right area there. of this race. It's nighttime. There's not going to be too much talking at all. Uh, as as the, oh my oh, God, huge movement there. Jack there. Ultra oh. able to leap past Bryce Games, trying to hold on to that lead, but Bryce Games uh, leaping nope. <laughs> past him again. So really going back and forth on that second and third position, trying to stay on the road because that's probably where you're going to be the fastest. And now it looks like the slap train way out in front. There's no one catching him with 10% of the race to go. 
But the question is, is Bryce Games going to get second, or is Jack Ultra as Slap Train finishes there in first? Let's see who comes in second here. It's probably going to be Bryce. Uh, it's pretty close indeed. Let's see what happens. There we go. Okay, Bryce in second, Jack Ultra in third, and Legendary Leo will be finishing in that fourth position. But, you know, Slap Train kind of ran away from the front uh, and just didn't really look back. But then we were questioning, okay, where there was a moment, was there a moment there where he made a little mistake and kind of, you mentioned he, he lost that momentum a little bit, but able to hold on to that first and get those four points. I mean, he, got, he won a bit of time in a bigger gap due to Bryce and uh, Jack Ultram for like starting to fight. Fighting. Just yeah, they, they were going left and right yeah. all over Changing the place. Changing position the entire uh, time. Obviously, that keeps you away from being the fastest. In Slap Train, he had serious mode on. He was like, okay, I didn't have the perfect start like the uh, the guys from West and East because there were two guys, in er like one guy in every group that scored uh, the big eight points, the maximum you could do. Yeah. Slap Train didn't huge. in round one. Yeah. So round two is really where he needs to pick up the pace, needs to get back onto the points to make sure that he's in the top four. And obviously, he knows that dude in blue did a great job in the other yeah. group. Yeah. So if he wants to stay with the top four and not end up in last chance qualifier, he has to concentrate. Right. And I think that first race in round two really showed that he can. Yeah, he's well on his way, uh, and that's exactly what he has to do, especially as we only have one more round before our top four decided to go into the final. But I believe Shag is standing by with an interview with our winners. Hey, guys, great job. You. You're both driving a 71Z28. Papa John's yeah. original pizza race car. What would you guys think? It's a good race. It's just determined on that starting grid. If you don't get out front fast enough, it's tough. It's tough, but I saw a couple of guys miss some checkpoints, had to come back. I mean, what, what you know? What were your thoughts on the race? What was your strategy? Well, unfortunately, what he said with the early grid, I actually went head on with an AI random car in the traffic, and I thought it was a goner. And eventually, I cut a few of the corners in a different way everybody else did, and I was able to get ahead. Well, hey, have either one of you guys ever delivered pizza? I unfortunately haven't. No, nope. no, not unfortunately. All right, guys. Well, good luck in the next race, and uh, I'm gonna throw it back over to Alex and Renee back to us at the sexy desk. Mm -hmm. They should bring that in. Like, they should call it the sexy <laughs> desk. We're really giving our best to look good, so it would be great if you would appreciate that. I think no. that would fully <laughs> make sense if we had a slice of pizza we could just eat. Papa John's Pizza, remember, the Crew 2, uh, actually, just Crew 2 is the promotion code, 40% off. Just got to keep letting well, you don't, you don't you don't need to order that right now. We still got pizza on the back. We do, but for those of you at home, take advantage of that 40% off. That's a pretty big deal. It's great to have pizza money, while, pizza while playing the beta. I think that's the best combination some, of games. Pizza. Some good brownies, too. I think they do a good job <laughs> with the Papa John's brownies. But anyway, we're about to jump into the next set of races. We're going to the Bayou. Uh, bit of a change in pace here. We're going to keep the same, the same teams uh, on the stage, south and midwest, but the environment going to change a little bit uh, as we have another point A to point B set up. Uh, but again, it's so important to get these points. This is pretty much the last opportunity. The second race of round two is pretty much, uh, it, it's, the, it's one of the last chances to, to be in control of, of you know, how you do in a singular race because round three is a little bit different. So we'll stay, stay tuned on that. But, you know, I'm looking out for these guys to really rise up. And they mentioned, they mentioned the starting grid. Kind of get out, get out in front. I think that's, that's very important. Get out of all the chaos, get out of all the traffic. And, and I think that's going to be the key for these guys to be successful. But you will be the most open race we saw so far because we will go through the sums there. We will, they will try to find the fastest way on like buggies or whatever car uh, they've chosen. They yeah. need to stay inside 40 to 50 performance level. Uh, other than that, they are free to choose whatever they want for the race. So it opens up everything right now. They, they can find their own way. They can choose their own car. So it will be interesting uh, which strategies we will see being laid out here. That dude in blue, obviously, he had a best start so far in his group. For his next to him, he could still catch him, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. See, 9,700. Uh, 9, oh, that name. Next time he yeah. shows something without such a long number for me. We Thanks, need, Matt. We need to give him some <laughs> branding advice. Uh, <laughs> just TC game. Just kidding. Um, yeah, so this is Rally Raid, and there's a lot of different a lot of different modes in uh, in in the crew too. If you're jumping into the open beta, there's uh, menu options there where you can kind of decide uh, what you want to tackle. You can bring up the map and kind of select which one you want to go in. But this is rally race. This is in the bayou, and you can even see these vehicles a little bit slower as we see a big crash in the very beginning. Big Julie Panda, uh, not off to the best start. But here is where it gets really interesting because you can pretty much choose your own way. You see the arrows here and there, kind of telling you the general direction to go. The most important thing is that checkpoint. You want to go through that checkpoint. Make sure you knock that down and go to the next one. But it doesn't matter what way you you take. Doesn't matter the method you take to get to the checkpoint. I've heard that it's not as good to stay in the water. The water slows you down a little bit, so you want to try to stay out of the water as much as you can, but that's where you have to kind of make the decision. It's like, okay, do I want to make a beeline 
and stay in the water, or do I want to kind of go a little bit out of the way and stay on the road? So we'll have to see what kind of decisions yeah, these guys make. Interesting choice here uh, that that dude in blue brings to Skyline R34 as some sort of rally car. Here we saw Big Chigley Panda. He chose to Fort Focus, uh, but he was missing focus at the start, it ah. seems, because he was crashing into a small van there. Daichi currently leading, which is great for him because yeah. he only scored two points in the first one. Well, we're listening to the drivers. Don't have the opportunity. Here we go. Like I found land, but I don't know if like it's I've, I've allowed enough time for it now. I'm only like three and a half hours behind, guys. We'll see you next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, alligator! He'll see it. At least he got a spare tire on that skyline. I hope he <laughs> doesn't need it. Uh, wouldn't 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 be that good. But currently, it is still Daiti in the lead. That dude in blue, the car we're currently on, is second. TC nine thousand seven hundred. Gaming is in third, and Big Chigley Panda still in fourth after his big mistake at the start. And I think it will be very hard for him to catch back up. But the, the thing here is you need to avoid all those trees. It's not easy. You can find yeah. your own way. That's fine. There are some great shortcuts. But for that, you need to fit between two um, two trees. Yes. And as I as I saw yesterday, <laughs> that's not as easy as it looks like sometimes. Yeah, and you know we, we both were trying this, this track out, this, this map out, and the trees will come out of nowhere, especially if you're like, if you're focused on that checkpoint and you're like, all right, I got to get to the checkpoint. Let's just make a beeline. And then you're like, okay, this seems like a good line. But then boom, all of a sudden a route can come out of nowhere. And you're like, oh, well, there's a crash. They so basically jump in front that. of your car. Yes. My Daiti scoring How four points. How did they points. do that? Yeah. yeah, that was really, really good. I think that's, that's awesome. Blue, he came third. Forrest is, no, um, that Doom Blue was second. Forrest is third. And Big King Lee Panda. Unfortunately, once again, just scoring one point, mm. uh, the same he did in the first race of round two. So it seems like uh, we might see that charismatic guy once again in the last chance qualifier, at least from what I can currently calculate here on yeah. my on my sheet. Uh, it does not look that good for him, but it will be very close between uh, David and Forrest in this group uh, to catch one of the four spots, only yeah. four. Uh, to go through through the final uh, directly. And we have a, a little bit of a difference. Remember in round one, we had the same winners, more or less, uh, from both races. But in this case, we already have some differences because I believe uh, that dude in blue uh, ended up winning the first the first matchup. Yeah. So we saw him interviewed. But now uh, our, 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 uh, our friend from Ireland, Dithy de, de Nagla, able to win there in that, uh, in that setting. And now we're going to see him on stage for an interview. But first, we're going to move on over to the Midwest region. Pretty much the same situation. Again, we're going to see uh, a different region, but the same track. And uh, I think what we can really take from that first one is you got to look out for those random trees, those random roots that'll just somehow, some way come out and just get in your way. And then I think the differences between staying in the water and staying out of the water, that's one I would go back and like probably run you know, two or three times more to really figure out the optimal line to take uh, to get to those checkpoints as fast as possible. It is true. You you want to make sure that you found the shortest way, but the shortest way should always keep your momentum going. And yeah. obviously with the water, it isn't. So there, there's some sort of compromise that you need to, to create to be the quickest on that uh, track. And obviously the Midwest, uh, those guys are trying it up next. Yep. Let's see if there are any quicker uh, than the guys from the self. Uh, we got Bryce Games here right in front of your camera. Next up is still the slap train with her aerodynamic cap. It hopefully helps. He, I think he got his sunglasses still underneath that, just so as a joker, maybe for the final, bring out those sunglasses. Look out. Making sure they look um, lit, you yeah, know, as, as kids nowadays say. There's the uh, intimidation games happening here. These guys all in the house next to each other. So you gotta you gotta think about the factor of uh, trying to get in your opponent's head. So when you're when you're right next to each other. But for now, all smiles, kind of discussing perhaps a little bit of strategy going into this race. Legendary Leah, she's been in. in always Costa. looking at. She's always looking at at the display. Oh, Jackie, see that? <laughs> it's like picking up which so car do you on? use? Yeah, let me have a quick look. Yeah, yeah. Performance updates. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Leah, she did get fourth in the last one, so she's going to try to bring it back a little bit here. And I believe it was, yeah, the slap train ended up winning uh, the first ra the first uh, race that we saw these guys on uh, the Papa John's map. There you see him in the second seat there with the backwards hat. So slap train, uh, once again, I'm, I'm expecting him to just go out from the start, you know, especially based on the point totals we saw from round one. He was a little bit further down than certainly where he was expected to be and where he wants to be. So I'm, I'm really expecting him to, to leap out in front. There we see Jack Ultramotive on your screen right now. And he had some good moments in the last race as well. I think he was actually ahead of slap train for the uh, first like 25% of that first race that we saw of these guys on the Papa John's map. Uh, but 
I think a uh, very big key here once again is is you know based on the grid order in the front, trying to get to to the front as fast as possible, stay out of the traffic, stay out of the chaos, but also being super aware of again uh, in the bayou all of those trees, lots of trees everywhere. You can kind of decide which direction you want to go, but you got to be careful not to run into anything that's going to obstruct your path. And for now, at the start, no crashes, which is nice to see. We see Legendary Leah going off to the left here, taking a different route uh, than the guys on the right. Uh, heading on to that first checkpoint. Let's see who's going to get there first. And it might be, OK, Bryce Games staying out in front, but all these guys very close to each other here as this race gets underway. Yeah, and then not to look at that, all of them very close, but Peter Slap Train is now on first, but Jack just made a move. It's a bit quicker on the straight, it seems, in his uh, VW. Whoa. I think that's Touareg, uh, should be. Uh, it's currently in the lead, Slap Train second, Bryce Game is third, Legendary Leia is fourth, but she's pretty close to everyone else. Yeah. So that is really good to see after the first race. Look at that, they're nearly doing, they're nearly using the same line. Oh, uh, no! Bryce right. Game, that was super okay. close. Uh, nearly parking his car there and ending his race. Legendary Leia, you can see her on the left. She's yep. taking totally different route than the rest of the guys. And very interesting to see that she found out that this way might fit her driving style more. She feels more comfortable on it, which is totally fine. Currently in third, so it kind of works out. But Slap Train and Jack, they are still fighting for the lead. Slap Train won the last one. Uh, Bryce came second and Jack only came third. So if Jack now wins another four points, that would really help him out yeah. to have a chance to stay inside the top four. I feel like this is the battle we didn't see in round one because we were covering the other two regions. Ja Jack Ultra Motive really staying up there with the slap train. These guys are so close to each other, really changing positions back and forth. So we'll have to see if they deviate in their in their, in their their lines. But just like that, slap train careening off to the side. I'm not sure what's happening there. And Jack Ultra able to take advantage and sneak on up to the front. 77% here on the progression. We're going to listen into these guys and hear what they have to say. Fast. Oh, Jack! Come on! Get that draft of the ghost. Oh, I'm oh, I have on. the wrong car. There's You're no gonna hit a tree, Jack. I can already see it coming. Watch out for that, Dan. Ooh! Oh. Getting me tonight. All right, come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Get me up there. Oh, there's no way. Come on. Uh, I just don't want to touch the control right now. Come on. Nah, nothing's happening nice. here. Nice, nice win, nice it win. Not, it nice. does not work for players like, like it does with Caster's so. Curse. Yikes. You can't just say, you will hit the tree, I can see it there. It was close. <laughs> I mean, hey, I love it. That That's the strategies we're seeing, trying to get in his head a little bit. Maybe he thinks about the tree a little bit more, and maybe he accidentally goes towards the tree and crashes. That's what Slap Train was hoping for. But ultimately, Jack Ultra Motive crossing that finish line in first place, and uh, a little surprised about that, but I like to see it. I, I like to see the competition we're seeing. These guys are close, very close. And, we, you know, we saw a moment there with the slap train. It was like, it seemed like he was getting momentum, but then he just like, you know, that moment where he kind of slid to the right. And then Jack Ultra just stayed on his line, stayed calm, stayed focused, and uh, able to be the first to the finish line. So that was certainly pretty cool to see. And we're seeing a lot of diversity in the results. It's not anyone just taking down every track, uh, which is really cool to see as well. I was a bit surprised that Slap Train like unbalanced his car there. That was the problem when we saw him losing uh, first position, just unbalancing it, not sticking to the line, going a bit off track. Can happen, so he will not end up with the interviews. That means uh, Shaq got another one and another winners for you. All right, we're here with the winners of the ba Bayou Rally. So a little off road, yep. little point A to point B. Yep. Yeah, yeah, how'd you like that versus the street racing? Uh, it was a little more interesting because you get to choose your own line and you have a little more freedom in the race in terms of how you can go and how you can win. Oh, well, apparently it worked. Yeah, it did indeed. <laughs> so, Tay, tell me about the car you built. So, I built, I built a pink car with uh, uh, spider webs and skulls. I thought it was very edgy. And, and that gave me the edge and I won. I think the edge was that it was throwing everybody off. That's right. They, they wanted to see it, so that's why they're all behind me. Well, it worked. It worked, guys. Good luck. I uh, hope I'll talk to you guys here in a bit in the future. Throw it back over to Renee and uh, Alex. I'm just wondering if I, if I should get that so livery on one of my cars now as well. It seemed to you work. You should. It seemed to work. You should. At least for him. Yeah. I mean, can you, can you live life on the edge? That's the question. Uh, and I love how he's kind of talking about how the car is built because that gives us a little bit of a nice preview for what's to come in round three. I don't know if we're discussing it yet, but, you know, guys, stay tuned because we have uh, many interesting developments throughout this entire show that, that is super fun uh, to pay attention to. But let's go ahead and take a look at our updated standings and who's in our top eight. Remember, top four is most important. Cream at the top. 
That dude in blue. Oh, wow. So the guy we just saw, he uh, able to get himself up to second place. Typical gamer in third. Slap train there in fourth, uh, which is he's going to be very happy with that. And again, for our purposes, top four is where you want to be. Because after round three, the top four advance. But I also love how our top four are all from different regions, which is very nice as we see uh, the next eight uh, uh, competitors here on our screen. And they're all trying to to get themselves back into it. Still some time, still some room uh, to get some points here as we're about to get into round three. So uh, definitely don't want to count them out just yet. And we'll also have an elimination challenge, which is in round number four, kind of the last chance for these guys. Uh, so no matter how far you are down on the standings, there's always a chance to come back because if you just go out, if you go to the elimination round in round four and you just win that race, then you're through to the finals. So don't count anyone out who's on that board. And it doesn't matter how how many points you score before that. Right. For the, it does. For the fourth it's round. All, so it's, it's obviously clear. it's obviously important now. Yeah. If you want to stay inside the top four, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not important anymore in the elimination round. So hey, even if you're last now, there's still a chance for you to win it, which is totally fine. But we're not there yet. No, we're, we're not. We're not at the el elimination round. Not, we're close. We're getting close. And again, it's the top four after round three who advance straight to the finals. And then in round four, we have the bottom twelve. And they will each play. They will each race amongst two competitors. So there's three total, and the first place out of the three will be advancing to the finals. And again, that's round five. We'll have eight of our final drivers, and then finally, we will find out who our king of the road trip will be. Uh, again, starting from 16 racers here, all from different parts of the country, uh, even parts of the world, as we uh, saw uh, from Ireland there, Dithy De, De Nagla just able to win in that last race, and he hasn't. He doesn't really drive. But hey, he's, he's, it looks like he's good in the crew. Uh, but I'm really interested to see how these points kind of unfold. And I'm very interested in the strategies we're going to see going into round three. I don't know if we've kind of said what it's about yet. And I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to say it yet, but it's going to be fun. Round three. We can just say it is kind of picturesque. Picturesque indeed. <laughs> indeed. Some sort of. Yeah, we've seen a lot of different environments so far today. We saw the, the snowy, the snowy desert plains uh, and the Golden Hills track in the first round. And then we saw uh, we saw some nighttime uh, in the the point A to B Papa John's race that we saw. We also saw uh, the kind of the icy cityscape, which was cool when we went to New York, and, and we saw uh, uh, the, not only the elements of the snow and the ice on, on those busy streets, but we saw the elements of buildings. As I think it was a uh, typical gamer who just smashed straight into a building, but still ended up winning the thing. But uh, just very interesting, all the different environmental factors and. I think, uh, I think folks watching are going to be very interested to see what we have in store for round three, because at the same time, you guys are going to have some influence. So there's another little secret I wasn't supposed to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. You guys are going to have some influence on round three. Influence. I can have influence on the show because I can send it over to Shaq at the couch. Hey, I'm hanging out here with Ann Munition. We are going to talk about your experience at the Porsche Experience Center, but I've been asking everybody this question. What is your daily driver? So my daily driver is actually a 2002 BMW M3 E46. Not bad. I know, the eyebrow raise, right? No yeah, one ever not, expects that. Not, not yeah. bad. <laughs> so what was, uh, growing up, what was your dream car? Um, so I grew up in a shop, actually, kind of like this one. My grandfather would rebuild cars with my brother, and I would play Super Mario World on my Super Nintendo in the corner while he would lovingly polish his 36 Ford 5 window coupe. And uh, he rebuilt a 67 Mustang with my brother. And my mom has a 68 convertible that she, uh, Mustang as well that she's had since she was 16. And um, I'm, so I'm, I'm a huge Mustang girl. So the- uh, Picking up on that. The, the Shelby GT500, which yeah. is like everyone's dream car, is like near and dear to my heart. Awesome, awesome. Well, let's check out how you did behind the wheel of the GT3. We are here at the Porsche Experience Center in LA, and we are about to take a lap around the track in a 500 horsepower Porsche. This is the most powerful car I've ever driven, and I am absolutely terrified. Let's go. Were you really terrified or excited? I was, I, as soon as we started driving around, I felt my stomach kind of turning, because I was just like, this is a $200,000 car that they are putting me behind the wheel of. So I was pretty scared. Well, you're, you're getting at it. <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> I felt like I was going so fast. I was going like, <laughs> like 80, yeah. yeah. It looks so Hard slow on the track though. Yeah, I'm just, I'm focusing so that I don't run into anything. Yeah, no one wants to wreck it. No one wants to wreck that car. Oh yeah, and well, there's yeah, those really cement good. barricades yeah, everywhere, you know. I feel a little more confident now. 
I like how they speed up I'm the editing because so they're like, slow. she was going real fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It felt like I was going a million miles an hour. But now he said he's going to show me what like the rest of the, the car can actually do. I can't wait to see your reaction here. Uh, so I'm going to make sure I hold on to my lunch a little bit. He used the launch control here at the beginning. This is the launch control oh, part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh I God. mean, when that happens, you can't help but laugh. Yeah, you can see my arm. I'm gripping onto the door handle in fear and also trying not to slide around the car. I mean, it's always cool, though, to see what these <laughs> kind of cars can do. It's like, hey, I'm, a, I'm yeah. awesome. Oh yeah. I'm going to drive the heck out of this it's thing. It's 500 horsepower. And then, like, it's, it's nuts. Yeah, then a professional driver drives it. Yeah. And you can tell how fast we're going because my hair is just like whipping <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> the, the hair like barometer? Yeah. Collapse in a corner now that I'm done. That was, that was fast. Good job. <laughs> How'd you feel after that? I had to sit down, like kind of collapsed on a sofa for like an hour afterward. And I was just like slowly drinking water. And he actually, the driver apologized to me a few times because he was like, are you okay? Like, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, no, it's okay. I just, I kind of have a weak stomach, but that was really fun. Hey. I'm like, that was great. Good job. Sorry for showing <laughs> you a good time. Yeah, <laughs> that. that was awesome. Well, cool. Well, thanks. Thanks for sharing that with us. We'll be right back for round three. It's actually a full team challenge. Yes, the photo challenge. I love photo mode in, uh, in games, so I'm excited about this one. All right, we'll be back soon. Hey, everybody, I am back with my boy Julian, and we are talking about round three. We just heard from Ammunition. She was saying she's super excited about it. This one's a little bit different. It's the postcard challenge. Can you explain? Yes, uh, they are going to use a feature in the game, the, the photo editor, and they are going to be able to take the picture they want wherever they want. We selected uh, uh, an iconic place in each region. So you have the, the Mont Rushmore, the Space Needle, and uh, two other places. And that is a uh, very nice because you can use the setting of the, of the feature to change the weather, to change uh, the filters, so you can do whatever you want and try to do some crazy photos. Because you can like use the fast fab and put like uh, on the top of the Mont Rushmore a bike or a boat or whatever you want. Yeah, some of our IGNers were playing the game and they were parking on top of like the Statue of Liberty and some wild stuff. Let's take a look at some of the best landmarks in the crew too. We just saw all the locations, uh, not that the regions can choose because yep. all of them do the location in their region, yep. but where we will be for the next big challenge. And ammunition, she revealed it somehow already, <laughs> right before That's the break. Right. Yeah. And we will have a picture contest, basically. So they will try to create, recreate the best picture, but it would be way too easy if they could do that the next two hours. They only have... Three minutes, I think. Three minutes, yeah, two to three minutes. We don't give them that much time. Yeah. They need to be fairly uh, quick. They, you know, they have prepared, though. I think all of them have an idea of what they want to accomplish here, but it, this, is, this is pretty awesome. 
you know, I've commentated quite a few things in the world, but uh, never a photo challenge. So this is going to be just delightful. Give us your best photo shot. Each region creates one postcard with a landmark from the region. YouTube and Twitch, get your fingers ready to type because you're going to be voting for your favorite postcard. Yes, we are letting you decide what we do. So get ready, YouTube and Twitch. Uh, each region will be awarded the following points based on votes. So uh, up to you guys, you wonderful viewers on the stream, on Twitch or YouTube. Uh, you'll be able to vote, and it is up to you to decide who you want to support and who does the best picture. Not us, unless we get on Twitch and, and YouTube. Uh, if, if, if I guess we can make our own. We can vote if we want from here. We could. We could. Our phones. I mean, uh, but we could also we could also talk about which ones are our favorite personally, and uh, I don't know if we're going to be biased or not. No. Probably not. <laughs> so I was just thinking about is there a, is yeah. there a reason to be biased right yeah. now? No. We all, are all my guys have proof. We, we we have a very good eye for good art though. You know, we'll we'll be able to critique, you know, the lines, the, the rule of thirds, uh, you know, the different Golden angles. Line. Exactly. See the different angles that are utilized here in this in this competition. And something I, I wanted to mention too that's that's pretty cool about uh, the road too. Uh, beyond uh, th the landmarks that we're seeing is just the open world element. But uh, uh, once again, you guys can vote. You'll be able to vote on which of these photos you believe is constructed the best. These, all these teams, they're all going to be playing at once. We're going to have, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have shot up all of them at the same time, watching them as they work. And then it's going to be up to you guys once again to vote on which picture you think is the best. Which team did the best job as, as at using their landmark uh, to, to accomplish what they want. And uh, there's going to be four. Teams, again, the four, all four teams are playing at once. East has the Cape Cod Lighthouse. So the East East team is going to go around the Cape Cod Lighthouse and decide what angle they want to pick. Uh, the South is going to be Space Industries. They're going to be going around. Uh, again, we saw shots of that in the video we just saw before it came back to us. The Midwest has Mount Rushmore, and then West has Space Needle. And again, you're, in order to vote, you're basically going to get to type out either East, South, Midwest, or West. Uh, but once the pictures are revealed. So I don't believe it will count your vote until we actually reveal those final pictures. So get ready. And another thing to add is that they will not have four cars. So they will have two cars and two of the teammates basically helping them out create this and picture. In, in, and to nitpick a little, it's two vehicles, not necessarily cars. So we'll have to see which vehicle they decide to utilize in their, uh, in their photos. That's true. It will not be that super easy. I heard some of the ideas already when the guys were talking in the back. Yeah. They're getting prepared. So um, I, I wonder if they really go that crazy. I asked for that stuff, like turning into a plane, going yeah. up the mountain. They said, ah, we're a bit afraid of the time. So we uh, got a... Safe uh, to be a little safe. Yeah, we got an idea that's that's easier and, yep. and faster to uh, to get done, as they obviously want to make sure that they got a picture. We will have all of, all of them on our screen yep. so we can watch how they prepare the picture and see in which direction they will go for, for doing it. They can switch to planes, they can switch to boats, whatever they want. Yep. It's not like they need to have two cars on it. Yep. And but it needs to be two, for two, sure. like two, two vehicles. Yeah. Uh, two of them have to be in the photo. So I'm excited to see what happens here. And again, if you're watching the stream, uh, go open up the chat, open up the chat, whatever platform you're looking on, instructions should be there. And it should also be listed uh, when voting is live. So keep an eye on the chat uh, wherever you're looking and you'll be able to vote at the right time on either East, South, Midwest, or West. And once again, uh, the West is Ammunition, Samara Redway, Typical Gamer, and Diction. East is Creams, BD, W03, Hova, and Legion. The South is Big Jiggly Panda, T7, uh, TC9700 Gaming, AKA Forest. Uh, that dude in blue and Daithe de Nagla. And then Midwest is legendary Leah, Jackal, Tremotive, The Slap Train, and Bryce Games. Right now we're looking at the West region here and the East right next to each other. The West region is closest to us uh, on the screen there. And you can see two in the front with the controls and two in the back kind of lending their, their moral support. There we see the South and uh, over on the far right there is the Midwest uh, getting ready to go, getting ready to set their pictures, kind of trying to you know, they have a good idea of what they want to do, but now is the time for them to put that, put the picture together, if you will. It's exciting stuff. I like it. I can't wait to see what, 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 uh, what pieces, what uh, the artistic abilities of these guys. As we see them racing, and there's certainly ways you can be creative while racing on a track, but uh, there's lots of creative ways to, to be artistic. You're actually creating a picture uh, using the, the settings that the Crew 2 has allowed within their game. So we'll see what happens here. I think they all have a creative site, so yeah. I'm not really worried about not getting good postcards. I think postcards. the hardest, <laughs> yeah. 
I think this is actually going to be really difficult to decide who's is the best. I think that's going to be. You don't need to do that. So I it's know. not that bad. You, well, you can You're right. leave that to the chat. You're right. Doing all of that, so we don't need to worry about that. All we can just do, you know, our usual talk about nonsense. <laughs> Oh, while they're doing so, and yes. act like we would actually know Ooh. how art uh, should be created, <laughs> but we're, we're not the ones judging, so it's all good. Otherwise, we, I know that you will always go we for We will Legion. judge in our own way, uh, and it's going to be wonderful. And I'm, I'm seeing their screen right now, a little bit of a snowy atmosphere. I wonder if they're, are they making the picture right now, it looks like? I think that's the, that must be the Mount Rushmore region. No, uh, yeah, they were just changing to the landmarks. Gotcha. Obviously, they need to get there, uh, and then the site for the cars they want to use, and all that. We see them discussing that. You saw it in the, yeah. the background, like we're using hands, yep. feet, you have everything to, go to in explain from it. the top <laughs> and then like a waterfall. And then, uh, oh, now we're seeing a plane. Oh, yeah, we see a plane on Slap Train. Plane. So um, all right, here we go. You will use, okay. use that. So we got west in top left, the Midwest in bottom left, East Coast top right, and uh, the South in the bottom right there. And once again, uh, top left is going to be the Space Needle. Top right is going to be the Cape Cod Lighthouse, which we're kind of seeing. Uh, we're seeing what's going on there a little bit. And they're able to change the weather. OK, they're able to change the weather, too, to kind of decide what aesthetic they want. We see an American flag there in the south. Uh, and they're looking for a photo of Space Industries. And then again, Midwest in the bottom left there, they're looking for a shot of Mount Rushmore, which I do not see in the frame yet. Yeah, it seems like the South is a bit struggling setting the picture together. Yeah. But we see on the side of We got the timer, coast. the timer at the top there. Ooh, I like the Space Needle shot there. Well, if you look at if you look at the East Coast, um, they try with a bit of uh, cheeky uh, product placement. Okay. Basically, a bit of advertisement. We suck, that, vote for that's us, That's one way to do it. <laughs> you, know, the, you know what they say, ask for what you want. Yeah. So, you know, I, 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 you can, you do have the ability to write on the side of your vehicle. Uh, Should we do it? And that is exactly what we're seeing there. Vote for us, please. All should right. We, we really <laughs> I mean, I like, I like how they I, get creative. You can creative just hear them laughing. You can yeah. just hear them laughing. It's great. I, I like how they get creative. We see all the self is aiming for the Mustang with having a plane in the background. Yeah. That's what they're trying. So try to get uh, the picture well together. Uh, Midwest is going for the drift picture. They've got motocross in there. They've got a drifting uh, Mazda RX-7 okay. with a rotary engine. Hopefully a rotary. I mean, we're in the US, so some of them could be LS swapped. <laughs> right. But I hope it's a rotary. And West Coast, I'm not sure about the West Coast. Are they done? I mean, that's the space Well, I can see it. I think they have, they have cars. You see the two oh, cars there? there? There's, there's two cars there on the Space Needle. Parked right on it. You know, if I'm playing Pokemon Snap, I don't think that would get too many points because of how small the cars are. But, but you know, uh, I guess it's fine. It's it's subtle, the subtle element there. And I, I thought the South was Space Industries, but I guess South is Mount Rushmore, even though Mount Rushmore is more in the Midwest, so I'm a little okay, bit confused about that. Because uh, I thought the South would be in Space Industries and the Midwest would do Mount Rushmore, but it looks like it's the other way around, so. I think the South is not is not sure yet how to really create the picture they want. They're, it's They're like, a, it's like the tongue, the tongue of the, is that George Washington? I should probably know which face. <laughs> uh, what, what do you like in so far? The voting will start, by the way, once the timer at the top of your screen is 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 all the way down to zero. I think South is not ready. Look at that. The South uh, is not ready at all. They're trying to figure this Everyone out. Everyone else, like West Coast, they're done. All right, get your East votes Coast ready. Done. Get your votes ready. West, East, Midwest, or South. You can vote in about five, four, three, two, one. And voting is open. Which photo is your favorite? West, East, South, Midwest, and 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 to be clear here, uh, on the bottom right, that is the Midwest team in the bottom right. So the South team is in the bottom left. Uh, so 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 look out for that. Uh, Mount Rushmore is the Midwest team. Space Industries is is the South. And there we go. It's 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 getting amended there. So that there there you can see. Uh, now would be a great time to vote here. Uh, either west, east, midwest, or south. As you can see, uh, Mount Rushmore in the Midwest. We got some of the snow going on. It looks like the car is is like a tongue of Ben Franklin or whoever that is. I should again. I should probably. Yeah, we will get you in a history uh, class right after this one. Don't I'm, worry. I'm, I'm gonna look that one up, but I can't see his whole face because the car's there. And again, the South is is space is space industries. So we're looking out for that photo, but pretty clearly the West is Space Needle. They figured it out pretty quickly there. And then uh, East Coast, we got the lighthouse in the background and uh, the very creative wording on the boats. Level Stroud once. 
Uh, vote for us, please. Oh, man. That's, that's one way to do it. Ask for what you want. I appreciate that. Yeah, be straightforward. They try their best to get it. <laughs> oh, there we Look go. Look at that. I think Our, I think they were choosing decide. different different pictures, and they were like, okay, this might be the best one because the other way did not really work at yeah. all. Yeah. Now we're seeing. But what happened to the South? Like, they're also not you really know, sure. Can they're we trying to figure again? they're disqualified. disqualified. No, no, no. I'm I think they were just they enough. tried to get into the into the photo. There it is. Now. There it is. Yeah, there it is. They need to find. Is that the one they're going with? It's okay. one and a half minutes for them to vote. Yeah, it's the there drifting it RX-7 and the motocross right in front of him. So it's boats uh, with the East Coast. The South brings in the drifting. Midwest is just showing American power yeah. with the uh, Ford cars and West Coast. They decided to put their cars on the highest spot available. Yeah. Uh, basically, they're in, on the space needle. It's hard to, to see it, but you can see two cars. I think one of they're them is a back Porsche. To back. They're kind of back to back yeah, there. One is a Porsche. I'm not sure about the other one. How'd they get the cars up there? I think they can. Yeah, they can use a plane. So then, then they must have used close. the plane, yeah. and then just because you, you you can you can hot switch into the car from the plane. So I think I think the timer at the top is the new reflection of when you're able to vote here. I believe. So uh, and that's that's how long they can. Oh, that's how long you vote. Okay. Gotcha. You have 45 seconds left to vote. So voting is open, ladies and gentlemen. If you are in the chat and you want influence on what's going on, now is your chance. I know all of you always want to have a say in the show, and, and we're happy to give that to you right now. So put your vote in the chat. Either put West, East, Midwest, or South, depending on which photo you like the best. Uh, I think they're all pretty cool. I, I like, like I like the different them. angle. I like the different creativity we're seeing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the Space Needle in Seattle. Yeah. Uh, that's a really great picture. Obviously, it builds on where they are in the yeah. landmark. Might not yeah. be the most creative thing, sure. but the picture, like as terms of the po postcard, it's amazing. The top is kind of cool. Yeah, it's, it's really good. I mean, we see the East Coast. They're probably the most creative. Uh, it's an easy thing yeah. they did, but it, it, pretty you easy. need to have the idea exactly of doing. No one else really wrote on their cars. So okay, I think voting is closed, and we're gonna. We're going to stay tuned for the results there, but I love it. Uh, lots of laughter over there during that whole ordeal. I think some singing from Legion. He's always singing over there. Uh, gonna watch out for that. And actually, I see them with their phones that I think they're voting for themselves on, on Twitch chat, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, <laughs> and it, it would actually make, you know, why, why not? That'd make a lot of sense. But now is, is uh, now we're going to pretty much, we're going to tally up these votes here. To, to, to put yeah. this in the bigger picture, yeah. actually, it would need to be the South. They would need to win to get Forest into, into the top four. Top four. Okay. So because if they win, everyone gets four points. That's how it is. So if South comes, comes first, everyone gets four points, everyone gets three points, everyone gets two points, pretty easy. Uh, the whole team scores, yeah. and Forest is on fifth. Yeah. So but with a win... The thing with that is, like, I'm from the South. You know, that's where I spent 18, 20 years of my life. So... You would think I'd be biased or whatever, but I was probably least I was probably least impressed by the photo in the, from the south. I mean, it was cool they were drifting; it was on the road, but there's just ironworks behind them. Like, like I would have liked to see the big the, the the you remember when the preview shots we were seeing the big spacecraft? That'd be cool to feature in, in their photo. So, you know, that's just me though. I don't know. What do I know? I don't know anything. But I was I was probably less impressed with the, with the photo from the south. So I don't know. I like the drifting and I like the effort. I mean, there's yeah. some driving skill to do it. Every, everyone True. else went for, for static, basically. Problem was, yeah. yeah, there is, I think there are better locations yeah. in that location yeah. to take that picture. Yeah. So maybe they were struggling to actually find enough space to get the car. Yeah, maybe they the kind of ran out of time too a little bit. Like they had a different angle they were going for. Who knows? Yeah, but I like that. We're speculating. Wait, when, when it comes to a postcard, I think the, the Seattle, Seattle yeah, that was, great. was the best one. I, and then the Mount Rushmore was great too. They had the, the nice the nice shot from the bottom with the two cars there, and then you had the very clear uh, Mount Rushmore there in the distance. And I think it was snowy. They, they made the weather snowy, which was a nice nice little effect too. And I also think there were American flags on the side too. So they had one of their cars actually an American flag on it. So I guess patriotism from them, I suppose. Um, and then of course the Midwest uh, letters, <laughs> the messages on the boats. Why not ask for what you want? Sometimes I get it. Uh, a little bit of uh, uh, making fun of themselves a little bit uh, in, in, in that photo, but asking for votes, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. So I'm curious to see uh, how the results are going to unfold. I just like that they put some humor in that yeah. part. So I'm totally <laughs> fine with that. Probably my favorite when it not comes to just a picture in general, like a, like a great picture, than the Seattle one should have won. Okay. Um, but I like the idea. I like that they 
actually created those liveries on those cars. They had to do that uh, on those boats. Yeah. In that case, uh, so that it actually shows up. But we got the results of round number three, the last round before we go into the last chance qualifier. What did the so chance So we'll be say? interesting. It the is West. West winning 56%. That's actually a clear That was vote. the Seattle, the Seattle yeah. uh, Space Needle photo uh, getting first. And then East, uh, that was the, the boats with the letters on it, 33.01%. But look at that, 89% of the vote, almost 90% of the vote going to the West and the East. So South is very bottom, 4.65%. Uh, Midwest, the Mount Rushmore shot. Maybe because they took so long to kind of finish what they were doing, you know, so people weren't voting for them as much. West and East were very clearly done. Uh, as the initial time expired. Yep. Maybe that's why they got more votes. But ultimately, West getting most of the points. East, not too bad. They each get three points. Uh, Midwest, each will get two points. And then the South will each get one point, which means we're going to have standings incoming pretty soon here. Uh, and, and again, the top four from these standings that we're about to see will advance to the finals. They will not have to participate in the fourth round. And there you go, a cream, typical gamer, that dude in blue, and the slap train. I love how we have one representative from each region, east, west, south, midwest. Oh, and actually we do Yeah, we get into eight, a tiebreaker. Look at that, 15 eight. points for that dude in blue, 15 for slap train, ammunition the same. Jack missed it by one. Okay. It's a, bit, a bit sad, but that means we go to Vegas. Yeah. And it's for be a great for boat three, race. Three, three drivers. Yeah, I, I like racers. that because I love that track. Yeah. It is a very narrow boat track, yeah. very tricky. And we haven't seen a boat yet on the yeah. uh, on the. I like that. Project. I'm I'm happy about the tiebreaker, really. Yeah. Because I, I was afraid of us not going to that track. It's an awesomely modern yeah. track. Yeah. So I'm really happy about that, but it will be hard because that means there's so many people that still don't know if they go into the top four or not. Yeah, well, the top three do. The, the top three know, and it's going to be between... No. The top three were separated, pretty sure. And then uh, fourth, fifth, and sixth were tied. No, wasn't 15. that... What? Let's take another yeah. look. Let, let's have, look have, have a quick look again so that we're, that we're totally sure about it. Look at that. Okay, so top Cream is definitely true. At, um, so, yeah. Through, yeah, typical game. Cream is typically second. They're through. And then it's third, fourth, four, fifth. fifth. Yeah, so, yeah so third, fourth, and fifth. That's the big... So uh, two the of these three are going through, right? So one is not going to be advancing into the top four. Okay, there we go. Cool. So this is going to be exciting. That dude in blue, the slap train, and ammunition, only two of the three of these uh, competitors will be advanced to the finals for now. Again, this is just the, the initial four to go through, and I'm actually going to write this down so I don't forget it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's that dude in blue with the slap train and ammunition. Uh, those three will go on to a boat trip, uh, which is great, just that we saw the yes, ghost actually doing the I boat can't for that. <laughs> it is a crazy track. We both did it yesterday. It is, like, if you do it for the first time, it's probably it's the hardest oh, yeah. today. It's really, really hard, very narrow. There is even an, an uphill section on the yeah. water. And you need to save boost for that. Save, save your nitro for that. And I actually got some insight from developers as well that the left trigger actually tilts your boat up and you go faster. Did you know that? Yeah. I played the close Dang it. There you go. But before we dive into the water and finding out who actually got the last spots to go directly through the final, we go back to Jackie on the couch. All right, thanks so much, Alex and Renee. Woo! Things are heating up oh, here. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, yes, okay. they are. Okay, we got a three-way tie for third. You're in. That's super exciting. That's great. And second, just edged out barely by a point. But anyways, we'll talk about all that later. We're going to talk about the Porsche Experience Center. Ooh. You and I were lucky we got to go there yesterday. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a we'll lot of fun. Rub it in. What? Amazing experience. I know, sorry. Right here, I can hear <laughs> you. Sorry about that. You had an important question, though. Well, you know, I, I've, 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 I've always been curious. Like, I've been asking everyone, what's their daily driver? But... Yeah. I learned what your, your daily oh. driver was. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a Lamborghini Hurricane. Oh. Yeah. It's a nice car. It's a I've nice car. I've driven a okay. Hurricane. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. like it? It was nice. Can't it's complain, right. right? Not at all. <laughs> so you know what you're doing then behind the wheel? Uh, I don't know racing-wise, like yeah. racing lines and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm not that competitive in okay. terms of that, but... Uh, I know how to hit the gas pedal, yeah. Okay, so how did you do yesterday? What do you think? Let's um, take a look at his video. I want to see. Yeah. Let's see. Was he nervous or was he so comfortable? I thought I did well, I'm but... I'm here at the Porsche Experience Center in LA. I'm look at you. Sean, Filled with confidence. And, uh, look at that how merch. Was coach? Did look you have a good merch. coach? Oh, he was, he was fantastic. Oh, he was right here. I love you're, you're, you're telling the coach... Yeah. You're going to show him him. how it's done. Yeah, yeah. It was hey. all a facade. You may have set the challenge at that point. <laughs> oh, I hear you. I hear you. See, I okay. look calm and collected. Look at that. I just... Oh, yeah. yeah. And what he's not, doing not is strategizing how to make you. Yeah. 
Or he's worrying about his life. I'm not sure. It's either one. Did you ever feel scared or were you just like... I was only scared when I was passenger because then I didn't feel in control. Yeah. Whereas here I felt fine. But they're like, you'll see, you'll see when you see he drives. You the look on the coach's face, though. It's, he's got this look of, did you literally just challenge me before I got in the car? Hey. Like, he already knows he, you beat it. You already knows. Yeah, this is the thing. You think you're so cool when you're yeah. driving. Oh, yeah. You're like, hey, I know how to do this. And then they drive you around and you're like, I'm a joke. Oh, it's completely different. absolutely nothing on them. What do you think was the best part? Um, well, when he was driving, he just booked it in certain parts that I didn't even know you could go that fast around. I'm like, are we going to hit the wall? And he started drifting at some portions. Yeah. It was super yeah. impressive. It was super. You're going to see it right here. Hey, he's smiling. Look at his face. Look at his face. You can do a smile and giggle when that goes down. I know. I was it. screaming the whole time. You, you, you're looking pretty calm there. Any screams? Do they get you screaming at all? No screaming. No screaming. No. Okay. Not, not too much screaming. But Just a lot of smiling. Just a lot of smiling. I was excited. Aww. I was a little worried for my life. but. Okay, so excited. here's the big question. Which one's better, the Porsche or the Lamborghini? That was, oh. That was, <laughs> that's a tough one. I mean, the, they're definitely, they feel a lot different. Um, I mean, they're different horsepower, different cars, too. I mean, I like my car. Aww. I like my car. You know. the Lambo, yeah. then. I, mean, I think she's watching, so I can't, you know. Uh, <laughs> <Aww. laughs> it's a she. It's a she. Well, cool, man. I mean, I, I'm bummed out. Yeah. I'm yeah. watching all these videos. And I know. I'm well, sorry. You, you we like come up to Vancouver. Things. Come, come ride the car. You'd have to great. Ubisoft. Be like, okay, I want a special Porsche. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna now. ride home from you. Later. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're gonna have to. That's a good competition. Air, yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Airplane up and then come back. Okay, home, we'll make it. We'll make it. It'll be a road trip. Well, hey, hang right there. We'll be right back with round four. We'll meet the four, first four finalists. Welcome back to the Crew 2 and the King of the Road Trip Tournament. All your favorite content creators try to fight for the big trophy of today. And yes, they all fight because we don't even know our final top four. We don't know. And then we have four to join them a little bit later from the elimination round, which will be round four, leading us to eight racers in that final round to find out who our king of the road trip will be. The competition has been great, but we've been on a lot of different tracks, a lot of different environments. But now for the tiebreaker, we have three drivers and only two can advance straight to the finals. Whoever gets third place will have to play in round four, the elimination round. Uh, but we are going to Las Vegas. Yeah, Las Vegas. Vegas waterway. That's the next thing we do. It's tiebreaker because we got position three, four, and five mm -hmm. on the same points, 15 in total, if I'm not mistaken, right now, which means they will go to a very tricky course. They will do power boats yeah. and not speed boats. I think that's the difference. Well, I think this are the, is the speed boat. The big ones. Yeah, this is the small. This is going to be the small one. It shouldn't be power boats, the small ones, and speed boats, the... I think it's the other way. It's yeah. the other way around? I think it is the other oh way. Oh, dear. Yeah. People will probably bl blame me now in the chat. That's all right. And I think we might <laughs> see that later, though. There's a Key West map. If you're playing the open yeah. beta, go down to Key West uh, off Florida, and you'll be able to play the w with the power boat. And much longer track, very long straightaways. This is more acute, more finite, tight turns. This should only take a couple minutes. That, that's literally it. I think it's a couple laps around this track, and we're in a boat for the first time. Uh, the Crew 2, all about those different vehicles. You have the car, you have the plane, you have the boat, and now we're looking at uh, the boat right here as we see ammunition already in third place, having a little bit of trouble with those wall. And again, it's be a very fast track, a lot of tight turns, uh, and we got some AI in the mix as well for now. That dude in blue in first, ammunition in second. The slap train actually dropping down to third somehow. Not sure exactly how that happened, but again, it's all about that top two in the slap train now trying to catch up to ammunition. Yeah, we know that this track is challenging anyway, but in the night, it's, it became a total nightmare, at least for me. It's really hard to spot the different corners. It is tricky. It's very technical, so you need to be on point, spot on to yeah. be good here. Currently, that dude in blue does a perfect job of doing yeah, so. Fun. He's leading it. Ammunition is second from uh, our human drivers in the slap train after his mistake. He's trying oh to get back God. onto one of the bright spots. He's very close uh, to ammunition, but we also, I think we just heard an echo of him uh, kind of yelling in pain as I think he crashed or something and actually slipped a little bit further back. So right now, 50% progression through this track. We're 70 seconds down. So yeah, two minutes or so is all it takes in this tiebreaker match. That dude in blue looking great out here in the front. And we tried out this track yesterday, but we played in the daytime. And now seeing it at night, I love it. I love the aesthetics and all the lighting on the sides. Very, very Vegas-like. Uh, as, as we're seeing a lot of the characteristics from the actual game. Andy Munition trying to stay out in front. A very close uh, battle here for third place between third and second. Remember, you need top two right now. Andy Munition getting passed by the slap train. 60% progression here. 
through this area, and now Ann Manish is going to try to catch back up. She doesn't have too much time to make it happen. 30 to 40 seconds left in this race. Yeah, and it's still close, so there is a chance for her to get back, but it needs to happen right now. If she wants to qualify in, like, before going to, into the elimination round, it has to happen here on the waterway on the last 20% of progression. Slept right, looking good so far, but he did a lot of mistakes already. That dude in blue, he was the one that really showed, hey, I know this track, I know how to handle it, yeah. I can stay on top. He's staying out in front, staying out of the, uh, oh no, wait. Oh, Slept right did that mistake. What? We're waiting for it, it really wait. happened. Oh, he is God. behind ammunition. But he's still very close, the last 15%. What? Can he catch up to Ann once again? He got no uh, no boost How did left that on it anymore. But he was clipping just another wall, he crushing again. And it seems like Ann will be in front of the slap oh, train. Oh, no. Okay, the Duda Blue is in front. Ann Munition about to cross that finish line. The slap train, can he catch up to her? Ann Munition going to finish in second place. And yes, Ann Munition is going to make it. Uh, getting second place among our humans, and AI got in second overall, but we don't care about the AI here. Uh, and Slap Train, some, he was in front with like, uh, again, like 30 seconds left in the race. Slap Train was in front, and then he just ran into a wall and just couldn't get out of the nook he was in. I mean, that guy loves the drift. If you know his videos, it's all about like chaos and having fun with any vehicle he could grab. Yeah. Probably that was a bit too much fun. Maybe. Uh, I'm sure he'd want to do that one again, but, but. <laughs> I, we saw so many, you know, that dude in blue, he was out in the front the entire way. But the, the battle there between ammunition and the slap train could not have been any more intense as we take a look at our updated standings here, uh, representing the tiebreaker that just occurred, where again, from that race, only two could advance. And it is going to be that dude in blue and ammunition, uh, the slap train dropping down to fifth uh, due to that third place effort in the tiebreaker. He'll still be around, but he's going to have to play in the qualifying matches there. But our top four, Cream, Typical Gamer, That Dude in Blue, and Ammunition advancing straight to the finals. West Coast people, I'm sure you're excited because that's two from the West Coast able to advance into the finals. They will not have to play in the fourth round, which we have coming up next. Yeah, I think like Forest, so TC 9700 9, Gaming, yes. and uh, Slap Train are probably now the favorites among all yeah. the guys that need to run through round number four like through the elimination phase, because they were doing really good. I didn't expect the slap turn to actually drop down, but yeah. I also didn't expect the Forest to still be on the elimination race. So with having them, I am I think we're in for a really, really great race. A lot of action, a lot of good drivers that still want to make their uh, way to the final, but all of that, route number four, right after the break. And we are back, and I am with our four finalists. How are you guys feeling? Good. Great, great. OK, we got to amp it up a little bit more than that. Right. feel freaking good. Yeah. All right, we got two West Coasts in here. Um, all right, OK, two I'm, of them. I'm liking the enthusiasm. OK, Cream, I'm going to start off with you. You're kind of dominating here, man. I'm going to be honest, I don't know how I keep winning. <laughs> I have no idea. No strategy? No, nope, just go fast, try not to hit too much. OK, there you go. Simple there. Andre, you're right on him, though. You, you're just, yeah. He edged you out by a point. So what's your strategy going in now? You know, I think at this stage, it's all about uh, speed at the last course and, you know, getting the best time. So I'm just going to focus on that and uh, try not to hit into anybody and, and kind of kind of play like that. Don't hit anybody. Yeah. Good. That's, that, that's good. I'll take notes on yeah. that. OK, you guys, that was intense, that tiebreaker yeah, there. Talk to me well. about that. Yeah. Yeah, well, we, we just learned about that powerboat stage at the last second yesterday, and we ended up having to practice it over and over and over. And we were like, well, they're very hard to handle. Will we be able to make it work? And thankfully, we did. And I think we got enough practice, and we we're good. Ammunition, you had a little bit of a struggle there with Slab Train at the end. Talk to me about that. Yeah, I got really lucky. I think he, he hit a couple things, and then I just happened to sneak by him at the very end. So I, got, I was pretty sure that I was out of it until up the last, like, you know, 100 meters or so. So I got lucky. Luck was on your side. You think you're going to win? Do you think it's going to stick with you? I, the fact that I'm even in the finals is kind of a shock to probably, like, everyone, including me. So I'm just, you know, here to have a good time and hopefully not crash again. Okay, Kareem, I'm coming back to you, man. Tell me, who are you afraid of? Who's going to come up here? Um, I'm worried about him right now. He's right <laughs> behind me. Yeah. What about in the loser's bracket? Anybody that you think is going to come up here? Uh, I think Slap Train has a great chance of taking it all. I mean, there, there's a lot of um, really good players down there and uh, people who dedicate themselves to all racing. So it's a little bit nerve-wracking, but to get to this point, I think we, we've shown that we have a, a decent amount of skills. So. I saw him running around here. I think he's got some vengeance in his eyes, you guys. Watch out. All right, let's toss it back to Alex and Renee. Hey, guys. 
Thanks, Jackie. Four in the final, another four spots up to grab. Yep. And that means we got also four races coming up because right yes. now we, we, we will get rid of Yeah, we've got to get rid of the regional groups. So they will all be mixed around randomized groups. Four of them, every winner of their race yep. will actually get a spot in the final, which means we will see four different races. Yes. And the first one is a special one because it's probably after the Bayou race we saw, yep. the most open race, yep. up the hill, down the hill, all of that uh, over the water actually in a Mercedes Benz. X class event. Yeah, this first race we're gonna see, as you mentioned, uh, honestly, as as amount of time as I've experienced within the game, this is definitely up there as far as my favorite. Maybe like this might be my favorite track, favorite car, favorite situation. Played it yesterday and just, I just loved every second of it. And you guys are gonna get a nice peek of, of what's going on on this track, as it's as you mentioned, every single race, four races, three drivers in each race, and only one can advance through each race. So. This is as intense as it gets. This is why we do this. King of the Road Trip, there's only four spots in the finals, and we're about to find out who is going to advance. And I love the comments we were hearing from the, the, the drivers. We got that interview from Jackie, um, how they're like, they're a little worried about Slap Train coming in from, from uh, you know, from the lower. And, you know, he's pretty good. He's set at some awesome times uh, today and yesterday. But we saw it happen in the race we just saw, the tiebreaker. Don't give up. Do not give up. I don't care if you're, you don't think you're going to win. I don't care if someone's way out in front. Don't give up, because that's what happened with ammunition. She didn't give up there, and Slap Train just ran into a wall, and he couldn't navigate himself out of it for whatever reason. We saw him pull up some menu stuff trying to get out of there. Uh, but regardless, ammunition able to, to, to make it in, even though there's only like 100 meters left in the race, as she mentioned. So don't give up when you're racing, please. Slap Train will be happy that there are even more objects to hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not only those walls, and as we saw in Las Vegas Waterway, but many, many more, like rocks, trees, um, this river that you can't cross. Uh, we talked about that. We tried that out yesterday. It's like a lake. Yeah, it does not work. Yeah. Um, so around. it's kind of crazy, it but I'm also not sure if he's actually in the group. Race right. Best. And, and that's worthy of, of discussion here because I'm pretty sure it's randomly attributed, uh, attributed as yeah. far as who is going to be in which race. So we don't know which three are going to be matched up against each other. And if you're in a group with Slap Train, you got to hope he's going to, because he, he's been, uh, he's been again, putting some awesome times out there. So. Uh, I just want to make sure before we go in there. Yeah. I know exactly who's like in. We know Ammunition. Yep. She is in the final. Yep. We know that typical Cream. gamer is in the final. He yep. did really good. Cream and then um, blue. Cream. Oh wait. Yep. Typical guy. Really? Typical gamer typical as well. Typical gamer. And that dude Cream, in blue. Yeah. That dude in blue and Ammunition. That's it. So that are top that four. Everyone else still wants to get one of those. So uh, even if they're at the very bottom tickets, yeah. of the standings, they still have a chance. All they have to do is win this race. That's it. <laughs> All I have That's to it. do is win a race. That's so race. easy uh, when Alex says that, but it's not easy at all. One race from each region. That's what we will see here. Bottom 12 competitors are randomly placed in each race. We yep. talked about that. No regional groups anymore. So nope. the first time we see people uh, doing cross races, basically, between the regions. Yep. And the winner of each of those four races will automatically qualify through the last chance qualifier to the final four. Everyone else, uh, they will actually end their day here, yeah. at least in the competition. I mean, they can they can look at the beautiful cars on our back. Yeah, maybe hop in one and take yeah. it for a spin. Probably um, not. I'm pretty sure Probably that's can't. not appreciated. We can't take it for a spin. There's an S15 behind yeah. me. You can't see that on camera normally. That will be the car I would have chosen. Okay. It's a beautiful S15. I, I, have, a question, I have a question for you, G Runner. We saw, uh, we saw Jackie with the West Coast shirt on, and I think we're far enough along where we need you to pick an allegiance. Uh, you're coming from Germany, but... <laughs> You know, we're talking about West, East, South, and Midwest. Do you, is there a, a region that you're, you're feeling gravitated towards at this point? It's okay if not. The South. The South. Hey! <laughs> well, I'm from the South. I'm, I'm from the South, so that's like we're on the same team. Why? Really? Are we? Yeah. Why okay, this? Then. <laughs> why I wasn't the, sure what do you want to do, so. <laughs> why the South? Why the South? Uh, I actually have to say because I think the team will look pretty well. Like okay. Big Jiggly Panda, I like that name. That's great. Uh, Daiti, because I think he had the best intro saying he comes from that's the south true. of Ireland. That's, that's basically true. South America. And then that dude in blue, one of the guys that I actually watch on YouTube, and uh, TC9700 Gaming, because he owns an S2000. I own one as well. So yeah, easy. But they, their photo was last, according to our, or according to they our viewers. They should know how to race, not how to do pictures. Okay. Others can it's, do the pictures. It's, okay, it's, it's, it's what you bring out on the track. All right. Well, I'm excited to see what these groups look like. And here we are jumping into the first race. And who do we have in front of us right here? 
Uh, that looks That's like... That's Bryce. Yep, yep. Yeah, and then Bryce we have Slap Train. Slap Train's in there. And that is Samara, Samara, what, Samara yeah, Redway from... Samara uh, Redway, but I don't the see the... F oh, no, it's only three of them in yep. each group. Yeah. Yep, just three. So um, those three, Bryce, Ooh, Samara, you know, and Slap Train. Okay, I have some intel here because I was watching these guys before the show started, and the Slap Train was practicing this map over and over and over again. Uh, so the Mercedes-Benz X-Class event, which is the first race that we're going to see, uh, Slap Train, I think he's happy that he got this, that he got this map, because I saw him practicing in the hours before this event started. Uh, he was grinding this this track over and over again. I mean, it depends on how much momentum he lost with not getting into the final immediately. Because yeah. From the standings, he was like, oh, I'm in the final, I'm in the top four. Yeah, and then it ended up with a tiebreaker where he was among the favorites, and he did not make it. Hey, anything can happen. A, yeah. little, a little crash, a little bit ambitious. You gotta, you know, if I'm him right now, um, I saw him taking some interesting lines. It's like, I, I think at this point, he knows the lines that are a little bit more risky, and he knows the lines that are a little bit more safe. I think probably take the safe route. 100% rely on your driving ability, take the safe route, leave it to the other two to, to take the risks and potentially get in trouble. But I think the key here is going to be stay out of trouble here for Slap Train, but I think this is his race to lose. I consider him a heavy favorite here. Yeah, we, we discussed that before the show. Like, if you stick on this specific track, if you stick to the actual track, like the actual road, yeah. or if you go full freelance mode and go wherever you want, yep. uh, just through the woods uh, to, to your target. I saw him trying out different routes. Uh, that dude in blue uh, was with him on that practice session. He also tried uh, some new options to choose from. So I'm, I'm just looking forward to, f to find out who is going with the roads and who's taking the risk saying, no, I think I can find a faster way uh, to the next checkpoint. That will be the key thing in, in the first race of round four. Yep, and we got Bryce Games there, of course, on the left. Uh, he was in a tough group there with, I mean, they were in a group before, uh, Bryce Games and Slap Train. So these guys have been competing all day together and uh, Jack Ultramotive was in that group as well. Probably see him a little bit later. Uh, but again, Three drivers are going to be tackling this track, and only one can emerge into the finals. The bottom two will be eliminated from the King of the Road Trip event here. And once again, if you're watching from home, hop onto the open beta for the crew too, and try out these tracks for yourselves. That could be pretty fun uh, to go through and, and, and race at the same time as these guys and maybe compare uh, how you do. But we are underway in Bryce Games, starting out in second. It looks like the slap train out in first. and. Oh, I th they're I trying think to the find the checkpoints. Train, yes, the slap oh, train went in. for the left route. Yep. So yeah. they, they are on the right route. You normally go over the bridge uh, to be quick, but he missed it. The same for Samara. I think yeah, she was following clear, Bryce. But that will be hard. She's Here's following the wall. Bryce. You can't go through there. That oh, wall is my massive. Gosh. And slap train, he will She's, be in the perfect too spot Too much right trust. Now. She's like following her buddy. Uh, but they, they went completely the wrong way. So you got to look out for that checkpoint. That's the big orange sphere in the distance, and you have to try to optimize that line. And already we're seeing the practice pay off for Slap Train. Uh, he's 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 making a beeline to that location. What's tricky about this track, though, again, it's point A to point B. It's not laps, and that's what's really cool. You kind of start going up the mountain, and then once you get to the top, you have a checkpoint at the peak, and then you go all the way downhill around the lake into the finish line. So that's what we're going to see this unfolding. It's a pretty long track as well. I think we're going to see around four minutes or so uh, as the entire length as we see these guys go up the mountain right now, up the hills. And uh, Slap Train way out in front. We can see by quite a bit. Uh, Bryce there in second position and Samara just behind him, just now getting through that checkpoint and then turning on towards the peak of that hill. Uh, but now we're looking at Slap Train here and I, I love to, or we're about to look at Slap Train, I think, and uh, we're gonna see that view from the top. And that's what that's what really made me happy about this track. Just the view you get from the peak. We're about to see it here from Bryce Games as he reaches this checkpoint in second place. And now you see the view. I guess it's a little cloudy, foggy right now, so you can't see a, a ton of it, but now I guess the weather co coming into play as well here in the crew too. Yeah, obviously we got that dynamic weather in. They all inspect cars this time, so for the next rounds, we'll see them using different cars, yeah, cars they built themselves, but in this challenge, everyone is running the same Mercedes-Benz I actually lost the same um, performance upgrades like and all of that, so there's no difference besides driver skills. And currently, it is the slap train uh, that does it best yeah. on this wild so um, map. Bryce Games in second. Well, oh, all the ones he's doing it great. Why not? Between uh, the right trace, and he I do not know how he I was sure he will be stopped there, but he avoided it yeah. by an inch. Work Samaras um, a bit back. Watch out to the right. Okay, we there we go. <laughs> there, you can't so, there's the big like. You yeah. know, we tried that, uh, the river. Yes, this is the fun is part. Is it a river or a lake? I... Not sure. 
it's a either a massive river or a decently sized lake. <laughs> Uh, and 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 I think when we when we played this, I think you were a little bit in, you started a little bit earlier, so you tried. Did you try to cross? You tried yeah, yeah, to cross I tried that to cross body the water. Like, I didn't like go to the, to the check, go to the finish, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. But no, you, you don't want to do that because you can't get through the water. 1.5 miles ahead, that's you have to go around. Rain and He's way up. Yeah, that is Bryce Games. It doesn't look that good for Samara. Seems like we will lose Bryce and Samara after this round of the smile. That train joining the other amongst the top four that are already in the yeah. final. The last yards, four slap train, Peter Mania there it is going is. on. Yeah, he's finishing first, oh, yeah. gets his ticket oh, to the final gosh. round. At what point can you turn into a plane and uh, just go over that, that river slash lake? That you can't actually amazing. do that. Wouldn't that be cool? Or yeah, turn into a boat? A small, a small jump, and then you jump and turn into a plane. Yeah. Go at, over at least, it, go at least if you're in second or something, just to let you try to go after first. Uh, while well, first place goes around, but Slap Train, he's certainly going to be happy about that. Slap Train advancing on into the finals. A little bit of a roller coaster day for Slap Train, as a lot of people considering him a favorite to go through uh, after the initial three rounds, but he found himself in a tiebreaker position and then found himself in a pretty good position in that tiebreaker until he just ran into a wall with about 100 meters left, and then Ammunition was able to pass him and, and get that auto seed into the finals. But Retribution eventually. Uh, achieved there by Slap Train, taking victory in our first uh, elimination match, which means uh, Bryce Games and Samara Redway will be eliminated from our King of the Road Trip competition. I will just cross them off my list right now. Yep, So cross them uh, off. Yeah, Bryce Games is out, and Samara, unfortunately, also out. So we lost one of the three female drivers we have here for the actually Queen of the Road Trip. Yep. Uh, because sure. it's named King of the Road Trip, but hey, the, they could win. Could be. And then we will could just rename everything, rebrand yeah. everything. Not a problem at all. <laughs> just get it done. It's the second group. So we got Diction in there. Yeah, in Diction the middle. from the west. Yeah, this that is, is Forrest. Legendary Leah and obviously Forrest from uh, the south group. He's on the far left. He's the guy with the lovely beard right now uh, in your in your picture, yeah. basically. Is it? I know lately it's in to have that beard. You yeah, I, I couldn't do it if I tried. Yeah, but hey, me tune fine. in again two <laughs> years from now. Look out. It might be it might be more possible for me, but but not there right now. And we are going to be moving to the Colorado River Banks. We have not seen this yet today. And uh, I'm excited. Again, only one can emerge from this group of three. Uh, Legendary Leah, Forrest, and Diction. Legendary Leah from the Midwest. Uh, Forrest, a.k.a. TC9700 Gaming from the south, and Diction from that West group. And West has been looking pretty strong with uh, two representatives already into the, the finals. So I wonder if Diction's like, all right, my, my region's doing well. That means I should do well here, too. Or it's the other way around. My region does well, so I don't really need to step up my game right now. Yeah? They represent, so I can just stay here, chill out, watch them racing, and laugh about their mistakes. You know yeah. that's a lot easier than actually racing. Have some, have some <laughs> Papa John's. There's still some leftovers from lunch. Maybe yeah. pop a brownie and, and watch the action unfold. That's certainly what we're able to do, which is pretty fun at the same time. That's a good what, a good thing about Cassis. You know, yeah. you, can, you can always act like you could do way better yeah. than that. Like, oh, yeah. what a mistake. He took that turn too yeah. wide. Oh, really he awful. Used, <laughs> he should have saved his nitro for that one spot. Uh, yeah, but uh, this this is good stuff. Again, it's going to be four races, four straight races here in this elimination round, back to back to back to back. Uh, only one can emerge from the three racers, and we're about to jump into the second one here, the Colorado River Banks. And uh, then we'll have Harlem West after that, and then Key West. And that's going to be the powerboat coming out, by the way. Uh, Key West, I believe. So looking out for that in the Another Florida boat area. trip. That would be good. And again, if you're following along and you have uh, the Crew 2 open beta up and running, uh, which is open right now to play, uh, feel free, try it out, jump into these races at the same time. I think that could be pretty fun. And then maybe compare your times to these guys and see how you would stack up, see if you could be king of the road trip. I know we got some, some fast drivers out there uh, watching the stream who uh, are probably getting some pretty crazy times. And I'm sure all that all that is pretty much unfolding online as we speak people climbing up the leaderboards and trying to uh, set the standard here. But we are hopping on the bikes here on the Colorado Riverbank, something we have not seen yet. And uh, G-Runner, we were, we were able to, to race this uh, yesterday. We were able to give this track a shot, and it was pretty fun. 
Yeah, I loved it, especially if you go to first person cam. I mean, obviously, no one is using it right now because you got a bit more overview if you stay third person. But it's a lot of fun. And look at Legendary Leia. Currently, yeah. she is leading right in front of Diction. And it's Forrest, uh, my yeah. S2K mate, uh, where I would put all my money on right now in this yeah, match. Yeah, but he's but in he's third. third. Yeah. yeah. And how far behind is he? Uh, we'll get a shot of that in a second. But right now, Legendary Leia staying in the front. And it's very important, these jumps, especially saving your Nitro for the big ones. Oh, because you got to be careful. We saw right there, you're getting a little crash there from Forrest. He's trying to catch up to those guys in the front, maybe feeling a sense of urgency here. But it's very important to hit those ramps in stride. you got to do that. You know, go on the upswing, then you want to land on the downslope. Because if you don't, and you crash right there, you slow yourself down a bunch, and it's it's tough. So we just saw that happen there from Forrest. So we got to watch out for those those jumps. And hopefully Forrest isn't giving up just yet, because he's pretty far behind. We're at 50% progression right now. Leah doing a great job right now. Yeah, Leah is leading, and it seems like Forrest is not really getting in, yeah. in the zone, in the rhythm to actually race those dirt bikes. Motocross, I did that once in my life. Like, I, I owned one of those um, Honda I've not tried uh, it that <laughs> motocross bikes. Did you bikes. go on jumps? Uh, yeah, I went to racetracks, I think, like, four times uh, before I sold it because I moved. It's an awesome adventure, and seeing that here oh, in the game is great. But Diction did a small mistake there. Bunce it wrong, coming out of the jump, totally going the wrong direction. This is... Might be a chance for uh, Forrest to, come, uh, to get back, but Forrest is so far away still. Legendary Leia. She, she just looks, has to focus. Yeah, she looks totally under control right now. Yeah, Look she at does. That. She does. Look and at that mode of racing. It's just completely controlled. And she was near the bottom of the standings here, but that's why I just don't give up. There's always a chance to make it happen. It's coming from the bottom of the standings, but now in the lead in a big way in this race number two of our elimination match. Only first place can move on to the finals, and right now we got a shot at Diction. He is the closest to Legendary Leah, but look at Legendary Leah seemingly extending her lead 92%. She feels it. She wants it. She's approaching that finish line, and Legendary Leah is going to do it, barring catastrophe on this final jump, but no, able to get through in first, and Leah will be advancing Advancing to the finals, and I gotta say, I figure Forrest was the favorite there, but Legendary Leah able to rise up and uh, represent her region uh, once again, the Midwest, and advance to the finals. Yeah, it seems like Forrest can go back taking care of that beard uh, while everyone else is <laughs> running in the final, because after that performance, he will definitely not join them in the final round. I mean, yeah. everyone would need to get disqualified, basically like, like Olympia or whatever. <laughs> yeah, get disqualified. Everyone for us will be in the final. Not doing it today, unfortunately, but Legendary Laird, that was just I'm great focus, impressed. Yeah. great control of, of everything, not a single mistake. I'm impressed, really. That, yeah, that was great. Yeah, especially from the start, I think that's where Forrest started, I, I don't know, just having trouble. And again, we're moving on to uh, the bike the bike racing. I don't know how, how, I don't know if they expected that necessarily. So maybe they're not as used to uh, that, that way of driving. It's certainly a different handle, a different feel versus the car versus the boat. So maybe that threw in a different dynamic as well. I guess so. I mean, we're talking about bikes. Yes, we are. It's not easy at all to get that in there. But we need to talk about something else. When we talk about bikes, yes. there's one thing that we should bring up. You can actually, obviously, play the open beta. That's what's going on right now. Uh, it's not really surprising. That's why we have all of this here. But if you reach at least fame level number two, you automatically enter into a great giveaway to win the new Harley Davidson Iron. 883. It's just over there at it's the couch. Right over we there. can see it right now, but you will see it on the couch yeah, shot again. Jackie, Jackie's hanging out with the yeah. bike over there. So she should be aware of sh showing that bike right after because you can win that at home if you're in the uh, US. Just make sure that you play the beta, make sure that you get to fame level number two, and then you automatically enter there and you might end up with a brand new bike. Yeah. Open. I mean, that's, that's great. Yeah. So open beta going on right now. So if you're watching the stream, now would be a great time. Launch that open beta, get to that level two, and you'll have a chance to win the Harley Davidson Iron 883. Uh, awesome opportunity there to get yourself a motorcycle. I don't have one. My parents, would just, they just never let me. And I think that's just held on. I've just stuck with me now that I'm an adult. I could probably do it if I wanted to. Uh, but anyway, I think we have Shag standing by for an interview. Shag, what do you got? Hey, guys, I'm hanging out with Finalists five and six, Leah and Slap from the Midwest, Team Midwest. Yeah. Good job, guys. Congrats. Uh, going into the finals, you can use the fast fave. How are you going to use that to your advantage? I really don't know. I'm just going to try to get a good start. That's That's been the whole goal of this whole day. So we're just going to try to get a good start and see where it goes, really. Okay. So what did to get here, what were you raised? What was the last race? I did the Colorado Springs race, Colorado Banks, the motocross race. Um, it was really fun, you know, tight turns, it was, it was cool. All right, well the finals are next. If you, are you guys having fun? 
Oh, yeah. All right, that's all that matters, really, right? Let's give it back to Alex and Renee, and uh, we'll see you on the finals. Yeah, two new finalists. Uh, they look pretty happy about that, yeah. and I can totally understand that. Uh, because they did good. We saw the Mercedes Benz event. We saw the motocross event. Yep. One of the events I was really waiting for. Next up is Harlem West. And then obviously we go over to Key West. Uh, pretty similar in terms of names. Totally different <laughs> yeah, in terms different of racing. environment, for sure. <laughs> that is, is something else. But we need to, to fill another two spots. Yes. Only two spots remain in our finals. We now have six in our, in our finals with two more to go. And again, only the winner of these next two races can advance. And as you mentioned, we're heading back to New York. We saw a uh, New York City, to be specific, Manhattan to be even more specific. We've seen uh, a race already in Manhattan in the snow, uh, in the ice, which was one of the first races we saw today. Uh, it led for some pretty interesting racing as there's a lot of different uh, pathways you can take, some that you might not necessarily expect. Who was it on the bike? Was it Cream on the bike, I think? And he found some shortcut to, to end up winning it. Uh, but now we're going back to Manhattan, except for going to the Harlem side, which is north side of Manhattan. So if you're taking the one, two, three train up north, probably 20 stops or so. If you're if you're a New York person, uh, way up there in the north of Manhattan, and uh, it's it's a pretty cool track, more of the city environment, but a little bit of the uh, park environment as well. So probably be pretty fast paced, I would I would say. I think it's a couple laps on the on the track as well, so not necessarily a point A to point B uh, environment. But I'm looking forward to this. These races they're getting a little bit more intense as we go along. Obviously, they get even more intense because it's the last chance qualifier. They know it will be their last race if they're not winning. On the other rounds, you could always say, like, uh, I probably don't need to win as long as I score consistently and always be among the top three, among yeah. the top two. But this time, it's not none of that at all. Nope. Just win it or go home. Cutthroat, sudden death, call it what you want. Only one can advance and two will be eliminated. And we got only two races left before we jump into our finals. I can't wait for that as well. Uh, but we've seen lots of different results kind of materialize, maybe some unexpected results. We've seen drivers who are maybe closer to the bottom of our standings after the first two rounds actually make it through. Legendary Leon, one of those examples. She didn't have a great result in the first two rounds, but just like that, able to have an excellent race uh, on those motorbikes on the Colorado Riverbanks. And we saw Forrest, he was having some decent results earlier, but then just, it was just not his race. Got into a little bit of trouble earlier uh, in that qualifier match we just saw. So anything can happen. You cannot write anyone off, uh, especially if it's like, seems to be set in stone, like we saw in the tiebreaker match, slap train, boom, runs into the wall and he's having trouble getting out. Ammunition passes him, goes straight to the finals. Ultimately, slap train would be able to go to the finals as well, getting first in the Mercedes Benz uh, track that we saw, but anything can happen. So don't count anyone out. Yeah, my smart sheet says that Legendary Leia, at least when we saw her on the stage here, she always came last in the group. But it seems like dirt bike, dirt racing yeah. was exactly what she needed to get into the final. And I love that. There should be, yeah. like, I, I was waiting for that one moment where we clearly have someone that is favorable on a specific scenario. Yeah. And it seems like motocross was just what, well, that was Leia's thing. Mm -hmm. She did a great job there. So it will be interesting now going back to all the other different races, especially, you know, the final is completely different to what we saw before. Uh, where they need to, yeah, try to bring on all the skill yeah. from everything they have into that last race. We will talk about that <laughs> later in round five. But for that, we will need the remaining uh, finalists. Yep. Uh, I will just check now. So we know, we still have there's Big Jiggly six, Panda. There's only six left. Legion, yeah, Le Le Legion's still out there. I'm kind of yeah. looking back. Legion is one. Big Jiggly Panda is another one. Uh, Jack, Jack Ultramotive, he should still be in there. For this, uh, Speedy, Speedy W03. W Volva. Uh, I think three from the East region still have to play. Yeah, I mean, the West is done. Yep. And Munition, she made it through immediately to the final. Typical Gamer, the same. Samara and Diction, they both got eliminated um, on uh, their round four races. Yep. So we're done with them. The East still has three guys yes. in this. They still have Speedy, Speedy Hope, Hope uh, and Legion. Legion yeah. yeah, Cream is through as well yep. as one of the first ones. And then it's the South with another two drivers. Daiti and Big Jiggly Panda. Yeah, so the West is the only region that's done so far. Yeah, and... Where there's no one that could join the final anymore. West doing a great job. Did Diction end up making it through? No. Uh, no, so Diction's so they, so West has two representatives uh, in the finals, Typical Gamer and Ammunition. And Ammunition, again, barely sneaking by in the, in the tiebreaker. So they got two solidly through, two in the top four after round three on the West region. But uh, for now, Midwest has to be feeling pretty good. We just saw both Legendary Leah and the Slap Train qualify through. Uh, 
so that that's great for them as well. But I think we're ready to get into this next race. Uh, King of the Road Trip. Let's see who we got here. We got two representatives from the East region, and then one from the, yeah, that's Daithi De Denogla there on the far side of your screen uh, from the South. And we got Speedy W and Hova from the East region here, uh, all competing for one spot into the finals. And yeah, that means your boy Legion, he will be on the last group. He will. You need to wait a bit until you figure out if to, he's I might have to hype him up a little bit, <laughs> try to give him some pointers. So from, from this group, I mean, we saw Daiti, he was actually winning one of the races in round two. Uh, he scored two and four points. So four points means he won uh, the last race of round two. So he got a win at least today for Speedy and Hover. They are without a win, but we're on Harlem West right now. We're back to supercars. We see a Lamborghini for Speedy Daiti on it. Oh, there it is, the pink a Jeep. We're all waiting for with some uh, skulls on it and spider webs. I think Hover all the way back on seventh, not had a good yeah, start yeah, at yeah. all on this track. You can oh, cut a lot. If you know how to do it, there are a lot of ways. You oh. see that Daiti uh, right through there with oh, the Lamborghini, oh, but he's smashing the, uh, he's smashing the stone there. No oh, chance for him to, sorry, sp speedy. to speed up oh, and get back gosh. onto Daiti. Hover, oh, now he, is, he, he saw that. He saw the mistake. He sees his chance to get back onto second position. Still not enough to qualify, but a lot closer to first than being third, Speed W good. still yeah, holds yeah. onto it, but that mistake, that will have an impact on his overall performance. I'm pretty sure. Daiti, you need to be aware, because if you jump too long here yeah. and you land down there on the ramp, it's considered a crash. I, you know, I think that's the shortcut I missed when I raced this, because I would have just turned right there and just ignored that ramp. So got to look out for all these these cheeky little ways to get through. Bursting through oh, the spine both, there. Yeah, they both Where are they missed going? The corner. Went the wrong way. Look at that. The AI in front. I'm like, Rodney, wait, wait, no. That, that's an AI guy. He doesn't count. Uh, Speedy W and uh, Denogla, they're in the front right now, and they're kind of trading between first and second. So this could be very close here uh, as we get towards the end. Actually, we're at the midway point here in this race. 50% a couple laps here on this track as they head through that checkpoint, completing one lap. Uh, Hova in the back, he has the most work to do, but for now, look at that, look at that lead that Speedy W is able to get for himself as... Uh, Daiti Denogla uh, oh, trying to catch another back miss up. by Speedy. That will put him back a lot. Daiti should be super close by now because he got reset with his beautiful Lamborghini yeah. in blue. This would be very hard for him to defend. They still got 30%. Yeah. yeah, and that Jeep is quick, especially in the streets of, of the city where they're diving into now. So Speedy needs to be on point on his race, but we're listening with the drivers. Oh, no! On cinematic angles over here, man. The trees, dude. What about cinema? Oh. <laughs> Those trees. Dude. Yeah. You heard, yeah. You heard it here first. Trees, the biggest challenge in the career too, at least for some of our content creators. Speedy, he will finish first, which Boom. means he will go through to the final. Daiti and Hover, we say goodbye to those guys. Yes, we do. Uh, because they won't make it. So crossing out. If you get crossed out on my sheet, yeah. man, you're out. Cross it's just double easy. out. Daiti Denogla, uh, he 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 found himself a lead, but just could not hold on to it. And then towards the end of that race, he was trying to catch back up. And I think he had a moment where he thought he could, but then we heard, a, a, as we were listening in, we heard a, 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 a monstrous scream of agony. And I think that was Daiti Denogla uh, crashing and uh, realizing that uh, not only did he crash in the race, but uh, he was also determining his exit from this King of the Road Trip tournament. So. Kudos to Speedy W, though. He, he was a little bit, he was in second for most of that race, but able to pull through, uh, sneak in front, and then uh, just have a clean finish to uh, advance to the finals. Normally you say when it's about racing, the one winning is the one with the least mistakes, but then you talk about maybe doing no mistake and others did small mistakes. In this case, it was everyone did a ton of mistakes. Yeah. And Speedy was the lucky guy that actually had the fastest mistakes to still uh, keep the lead. I got a bit lucky there, but hey, that's what we want. We want a, interesting races. We want, uh, want it to be close. I'm a bit disappointed by the Jeep not getting back into the fight with the Lamborghini. Yeah, I was waiting for that one. Yeah. But hey, we, you, we can't have all of it. And we still have one race in round four, so that's enough. Of yes, we do. We have seven finalists with only one uh, more to go, one more race to go in this elimination round. And uh, we're moving on to Key West. We just saw Harlem West, which was, which was pretty fun. Very fast-paced overall. 
and uh, a lot of mixture and environment between uh, residential and then uh, kind of the cityscape with some, some wooded areas in between. But here are our final three drivers in our elimination match. That is Jack Ultramotive from the Midwest region. He's trying to take home a win here. And then next to him, we have uh, Legion on the far side, and that's Big Jiggly Panda in the middle. And we already see Legion talking a little bit. I don't know if he's singing. Sometimes he's doing some freestyle here and there. He's that kind of guy. Maybe trying to get into the, the heads of his of his opponents there. I think he's singing some Taylor Swift, actually, if I had to guess. <laughs> I just want to see Bigly J J Big Jiggly Panda in the final because I love that name. <laughs> I'm totally fine with that. Bring him in. Bring him into the final. Could Big happen. Jiggly Panda. Uh, I know that you were rooting for Legion. Here we uh, go. But in this case, uh, we can't agree on that. I, I want someone else in the final. I want the man from the south uh, to join them. But we're starting the last race in round number four. Off we go. We're back to yeah, boats. Yeah. And it Seems like oh Jack God. Ultramotive oh had a great oh start, but Milton the AI was crashing into him. He's sticking to it. He can't really get away. Now finally he did, but Legion and Panda, they both couldn't take the chance to actually blast by Jack Ultramotive. Yep. So nothing lost yet. Pretty close between Jack and Legion. All right. Seems like Big, Big Jiggly Panda ha had the worst start here. All right, yeah, and this is uh, point A to point B here, going with these power boats. A lot of power here, and a lot of speed can be accumulated. Longer, sh longer straightaways as well here on this track. But for now, Jack Ultra Motive running away with this, and Legion desperately trying to catch back up. Maybe he can hop into that cruise ship we're seeing on the right as we take a listen into these drivers. Oh dang! Well, it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Like I'll look forward to it when it does. <laughs> when you laugh, you even in the losers bracket? Why are we playing you? Your young, limber fingers were built for this. <laughs> I'm an old man now. <laughs> now we know exactly <laughs> how this go. happened. Either. All right, um, that was the insight from the drivers for why someone is winning and why someone is losing. Um, Legion said he's an old man. He can't really keep up with the reaction times you need to actually win here. And yes, Jack Ultramotive doing good in the boats right now. He got the, he's what's focused. that? Is that a bit of, I was asking if that's an American flag, but it isn't, it's just red and white. Yeah. I thought there will be blue on the left. Nice red, white pattern there, zigzags. Legion desperately trying to catch up, wondering how he ended up in this heat with this very, f what, what just happened? He crashed. Oh no, oh, he passed it back up. You could just hear Legion, the emotion from him. He thought he had it, and then Jack was able to catch back up. I think there's a slight crash there from Jack Ultramotive. Legion, a chance to advance to the finals, but Jack able to catch back up, and, and there's not too much time left in this race as we approach the finish line. Yeah, we, we can hear them screaming in the background, even if their crumbs are not live on the show. Yeah, we, we can. could hear them, <laughs> but it will be Jack Ultramotive. I mean, he's not first in the race, so it wasn't yeah, fast Scott. enough to beat the AI, so Scott will uh, join us, the AI will join us in the in final. The finals. Oh, I hope yeah. the Jeff has a way to pick a specific AI for the final to put it in there. My goodness. No, it will be... Uh, it will be Jack Ultramotive, so he's in, which means I can cross out some more people. I can cross out your guy, Legion, is yeah. out. I can cross out um, we still Big need Jiggly we Panda. Need to interview, we need to interview Legion, even though he lost, and just like hype that up that he lost and just have fun with it. Look at that sportsmanship here. Yeah. Just uh, Legion. But he didn't make it. I mean, he was so close to having He was close. He was actually <laughs> he surprised, was surprised to, yeah, to, yeah, to be on first. Hero. Like, what? I'm first? And then he lost it like three seconds afterwards. Like, Damn, what yeah. happened? I, I would love to see an ironic interview with Legion, but I think we're actually going to talk to our, our winners here in a second. But just uh, amazing result there. That's the that's the pretty much the end of our lower bracket uh, races, as now we have decided all eight of our finalists who will be advancing and competing for the, uh, only one can win as king of the road trip. And, and I just love the absolute diversity that we're seeing in the finals. We got representatives from every single region. So uh, we're, we're, we're set up for, for some nice things here as we approach the finals. That's true. All the regions are in. Still, they want to become the king of the road trip. We got Shaq with the interviews of the last two winners. We are here with the final two finalists, Speedy, Jack Ultra. Yep. So, uh, man, your race was interesting. Oh, it sure was. Sometimes it's playing the other mistakes to your advantage. Yeah, I got lucky. I was in a group with like three bad racers. So one of us had to win, and it came to the point where the other guys are so far behind, I kind of slowed down and let a bot beat me. So it was pretty good. Hey, it's all about strategy. So, so it's a little squirrely. The boats are a little squirrely. Yeah, I saw yeah. your star was a little squirrely. They're not as easy. And then, especially when I had to guide myself right through that tunnel, it was like I couldn't squirrel myself the right direction. So I went right through the middle, and then that just knocked me back a little bit. 
Boats are a little different. You got to mess with the trim, the gas. I mean, there's a exactly. lot to deal with. Exactly. You have to be holding back constantly to gain that extra speed, extra thrust, and it's a bit rough. Well, you know what? None of that matters now. We're in the finals. Yeah. It's timed. It's just going to be best man, last, last man standing. All right. Congrats, guys. Thank you. Thank you. We'll give it back to Renee and Alex. We'll see you in a bit. Three bat races, some of us, as one of us had to win. I hate, you know. That, that's my favorite comment up today. Right. <laughs> Three bat races, but one had to proceed to the final. And that's exactly what happened. And now we have our final eight competitors. We started with 16. We have said goodbye to eight of them, leaving us with these eight competitors who will be vying for the title of King of the Road Trip here for the crew, too. Cream, typical gamer, that dude in blue ammunition, the slap train, legendary Leah, Speedy W, Jack Ultra Motive, three representatives from the Midwest, two from the West Coast, two from the East Coast, and only one from that South region, the dude in the blue trying to represent. But here's our top eight. The rest are eliminated. I already have to say, I thought the South is the strongest region. I still believe in that. Yeah. I'm seeing their group, but only yeah. one of one of them made it to the final. It's only uh, David, that dude in blue, uh, that managed to do so. Uh, surprises me a bit, but hey, it's better to be surprised in tournaments yeah. than to know exactly what will happen. So I'm happy with that. Anything can happen in a competitive environment. Not only that, the crew too, with as many different tracks we've seen, as many different vehicles we've seen, perhaps some surprises for our drivers as well, uh, unexpected turns, unexpected barriers, leading to a lot of different results. This is really fun uh, to watch that unfold. And it's only going to get crazier as we approach our, uh, our finals, our, our round five, and again, decide who our king of the road trip will end up being. Yeah, king or queen of the road tour. But obviously there's also uh, something for you guys in here. I mean, most of them, they're probably now playing the beta in, in the chats and all that, we, we can see that. Yeah. So if you play that beta and you make it to fame level two or higher, I mean, It's not that whatever. hard to do that, I don't think. <laughs> what do you think, it's like 15 minutes of game time, probably, to get fame level two? That's I, just I don't want to jump into that, guess. because I'm, I'm not sure at all. But if you do so- It shouldn't be that difficult. You so. automatically, Enter that giveaway yep. for the Harley Davidson Iron 883. Once again, I have to uh, make sure that you guys understand it's US only, yep. uh, which means me as a European, I can't win it, even Sorry. if I'm here right now. <laughs> hey, if I win it, I'll, let you, okay. I'll let you drive it. Oh, really? Yeah. Great. So I, I only you. need to fly and travel 24 hours. Yeah. Back here. <laughs> we'll hang out, uh, but definitely take advantage of that. US citizens 18 years or older, participate in the crew open beta, reach fame level two, and you'll be entered for a chance to win that motorcycle. It's right over there. We'll go to the couch in a little bit so you can see what that motorcycle looks like. Uh, but. Uh, definitely take advantage of that and all everything we have going on here. Remember, we've still got 40% off pizza, 40% off Papa John's pizza. You just got to use the code CREW2 when ordering your pizza or your uh, brownies or your cookies or your sodas, whatever you want from Papa John's, 40% off using the code CREW2. So definitely take advantage of all of these things, uh, but I'm excited to get uh, into the finals. That is true. Now I'm excited to have one of those brownies again. But <laughs> before I get any brownies or pizza, we go over to the couch with Jack and Jackie. I think they got that dude in blue for an interview. Oh my gosh, how did you guess it? Is it because you guys are right over there and you can see us? Yeah, he got it. <laughs> yes, that dad in blue is joining us. What's up? Dad in blue. Sorry, that dude in blue. That dad in blue? Not quite yet, right? Whoa. Yeah, no, yeah, not yet. Sorry, what, what, was, what was that video about? <laughs> I know, I'm like, okay, awkward transition there. It's all okay, good. let's talk about the Porsche experience. Yeah, of course, <laughs> it was great. It was uh, it was very humbling yeah. because as soon as you think you're getting the hang of their track and getting the lines correct and everything, they take you for a ride yeah. and then you're like, wow, I have a lot to learn. And the way they break super late and it looks like you're going straight into a wall at like 100 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. And then you magically get around the turn somehow because of their practice skill. It's really yeah. cool. So what, what's your daily driver? I have four cars. So oh. uh, I have a two, 240SX. Get in a clap. 240SX with a Toyota Super Engine, uh, Pro Charge Mustang GT. Uh, Acura Integra and another 246. So you're, okay. you're used to a little horsepower. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's what I live for. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I want to see how you handled it. Let's see if we can bring yeah, up sure. that video sure. yeah, here. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So, hey, um, up, when you Here, got in there, were you feeling comfortable? Were you feeling confident? Or were you a little bit nervous? Oh, I was just nothing but smiles. And just, but I was more focused on just paying attention to what he did. And yeah. I wanted to see what I could learn from that, really. What were some of the big tips that you got out of it? Well, it's all about vision when you drive on a track. You look basically a corner ahead. So that's why you always see their heads turning like way ahead of the time. You're like, aren't you going this way? You're looking this way. But it's weird because your, your brain kind of does it for you as you go around. But uh, by the end of the experience, I loved it. It was great. Your coach is all smiles, right? Yeah. Relaxed. Yeah. You're a good student? I, I think so. What were the biggest tips that you picked up? 
Um, well, smokes. there's one part of the track that has a really <laughs> big awesome. dip in it, oh, and I went over it way too fast, and it almost <laughs> caught air in the car, that's and I was awesome. like, I'm really yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, but he was like, it's fine, just do it again. Hey, if you're going to catch air, do it in someone else's car. That's, that's right, in a $140,000 GT3. So we were talking to ammunition earlier. She got a little bit sick. Oh, no, well... If you ride with somebody long enough going that fast, yeah. there's no way around it. Some people will give you a hard time, like a hard time, but it's it's hard to avoid when you're going that fast for lap after lap after lap. Were you okay though? I, I was fine until I was asked to do another set of laps, and I was like, sure. And Just then by the end, thought, I was like, I, I couldn't do really anymore. Well yeah. Because when you drive, you know how to prepare <laughs> so your body because you know what you're doing. Yeah. But when you're riding, you don't, you can't really anticipate the movement, and then the fluid in your head is like all over the place. <laughs> so you're like, I don't know if I can keep doing this, but it's a great experience. You gonna add a Porsche to your lineup? I wish. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> Those were so sick. Yeah, I great love cars. Them. Great time. I mean, it looks fun again. Oh yeah, no, it's an experience a lot of people should well experience yeah, because can, yeah. uh, if you want to feel the epitome of a car doing its job and having the tires heated up and ceramic brakes in action, then you'll be mind blown. So is this the first time you've done something like this? No, I've been fortunate to do a few other track events and what's great is there's one in Atlanta where I'm from and I did it last week and then I heard I was doing it here as well, but what's great is the tracks are vastly different. So oh, okay. oh, this cool. one was way more wild. So it made it very interesting. He's a professional. He knows I what know, he's doing. Right? And he's in the finals. Well, the competitor said yeah. you look like a race car driver. I mean, so that sure, might have something to do it. with it. Yeah. He must have that charisma. More hours. He must More have hours that swag. No. We are excited about the finals, though, Speaking right? the finals. Yeah. We will be right back. And they're coming up. Because we're going to crown the Yay. king of the road trip. Oh, my Is it going to be that dude in blue? You're going to have to see. <laughs> you can just stay right here. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Everybody, it is Jackie and Shag, and we are back here live. Oh my goodness, the finals! It's so close. Can you believe it? They're all it's lined crazy. up. They're ready. They're ready. We're a little bit excited about it. Okay, yeah. so talk to me. What has been your favorite part of the day? You know, I got to tell you, I thought it was really cool, like the unexpected weather conditions. Yeah, the snow. I mean, snow. these guys were like, "Oh, we're racing in the yeah. desert," and then bam. Blizzard. Yeah. Man, I'm going to have to say the tiebreaker race. That was, the three-way tie for third. That was intense. Yeah, ammunition just came out of nowhere, and it was just like back and forth between her and Slap, and then she pulling out. I'm, I'm rooting for ammunition, okay? She's my girl. I, I, she's got fire. She's got fight. Who do you think's going to well, win? Well, she is, I mean, she grew up in a garage. Yeah. She's comes from a car family. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't be shocking. Yeah. After, do you have a favorite? No favorite for man, you? Man, I I mean, I'm on. Team South. I mean, Team South guy. Okay, but, uh, okay. I don't know how much. It's tough. We'll see. I, I, mean, not, I don't want to say I have a favorite. It, it, look may, at the, you. may the best driver, may the best driver okay. win. Well, I'm seeing ammunition, though. She's got a lot of great competition out there. Cream has been dominating as well. So. Well, this is a time trial, and I'm excited to see how they use the Fast Five. Yeah. Or the oh, Fave Five. Fast Fave. Vice Fave. Fast, fast, fast. fast. You, you, know what I'm you know what I'm saying. Right? It has a fast that can create, a, that can definitely create a, uh, an advantage. So. Yeah, and it's just been such a great day, just being able to see all the different types of courses, all the different oh, cars. Yeah. It's been absolutely the mods, wild. Like what these guys created, what yeah. they built. It's 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 pretty awesome. We're having a lot of fun. Yes. You know who else is having a lot of fun? Alex and Renee. Yes, they are. Right, boys? We're having a great day. Hi. I never had such a lovely toss to me. That was great. I'm not all red yet, just because of the makeup, it covers everything, <laughs> so it's all good. Nothing happened, no one can see it, all good. And we will probably not name the mode for this time trial because I saw them struggling with it, yeah. and I don't want to go that way. <laughs> I, I am it's so excited. I, just, what an amazing day this has been, and it all comes down to these eight drivers. We can only have one king or queen of the road trip, and it's, uh, as you mentioned, time trial based. So. Uh, anything can happen, and the results are going to kind of be a little bit hidden until the, the you know the final moment. We're going to make a little a little show out of that. Uh, but it is anyone's race, and and uh, Shag was talking about the South. There's only one representative from the South here in this. And that's the dude in blue who they just talked to on the couch. So he's like, oh, I don't really pick anyone, but he picked the South, therefore he picked the dude in blue. So that's his pick. Uh, that Jackie, dude in blue, he Jackie just picked. Do it. Jackie just picked ammunition. Yeah, and who do you pick? I think it's got to be the slap train, like just based on you know slap who's train? done so okay. well coming in. That would be my first, and then typical gamer, and then cream. I guess would be my top three. No, that dude in blue will just win it. Okay, really? Calling it right now. Okay, that dude in blue will I mean, win. He's South got, will win he's because I have chosen the South. You said you're from the same team, but they yeah. can go for slap train yeah. Midwest. Yeah, I wouldn't mind the South. 
you know, I am from the South. But uh, again, based on just how well the slap train has been looking coming into this, I, I was very surprised that he, he was, didn't make it wait, through. He was so quick in practice. Oh, yes. Yeah, so um, he has some Ridiculous of the best time. leaderboard yeah. times. Yeah. But it seems like he's prone to do mistakes. Yeah. While that dude in blue looked a bit more settled in terms of his of his racing and all that. Yeah. But for now, it's a different mode. It's it's time trial, so they're not racing each other. We will have four players going at four the at same time, time yeah, yep. but we won't see the end time. So these four will s probably start, I guess. Yep. That's ammunition, yep. uh, that dude in blue. Uh, next to it, that is... Typical gamers typical there. Typical gamer, yeah. And that's and, cream. And cream, yeah. Yep. So, wow, this is a pretty... St I mean, all these, both these races are going to be pretty stacked. And there's the, the interesting element of... As we see, uh, this is east, west, and, and south. So uh, three, this also means that three of our Midwest competitors will be in the next race, all racing together, more or less. But once again, this is time trial based. So there's not necessarily going to be a grid start, right? Which is which is pretty important to consider. You know, all that traffic in the beginning that these guys have been talking about, how, how tough that can be. I'm not sure if that how heavy of an element that's going to be, but I guess we are going to find out as we get ready to go here with the finals. Time trial competition, winner take all. And I kind of just want to watch this unfold. We're getting into the race. It's one of those Life Extreme series episodes in the game, which also means they will probably race nearly everything. Cream is on the bike because yep. that's what he, what he has chosen for one of the previous rounds. So they, they go back to the, the cars that they have built up in the previous rounds and then also go on boat, go on a plane uh, to race. Here we see that everyone is on their own. Everyone's just doing a uh, time trial. It seems like yep. that dude in blue is struggling a Some bit AI. already. Any munition she brings in the Porsche, be beautiful GT3 RS. We saw a Ferrari uh, with David. We saw the bike with Cream. I'm just wondering. Some dinosaurs. Yeah, well, what is what is typical gamer bringing in? Um, not a bike. I think we got a standard. There's, there's Cream again. Well, we're basically going to go through all four of these competitors as they, they ride along here, going through dinosaur land. Uh, we see all those dinosaurs in the distance. And for now, Oh, typical game awards on the Ferrari. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. There uh, yeah, I did mistake there. Yep. Okay, so he's on the Ferrari cream. He's <laughs> on, wow. Do you think he's on the bike. Here? Yeah, a bit a bit of uh, bumping and uh, racing. Is, um, Robin is racing, you know. Yeah. Uh, so he's doing that to the it, AI, so no one can really complain. That dude in blue still struggling with AI right behind him. Yeah. But it was the same for everyone else. So how yeah, do we figure out like who's quick? So here, here's what you like. Uh, the progression percentage, I think, is going to be the best indicator of who's doing the best. Uh, we see 28, 29% there from Anne. And I believe that number is going to be different based on how far along these guys are in their time trial. They, they all started pretty much at the exact same time. But that's probably the best indicator the top left there. We see back to 30% here from Cream. Uh, relating to that progression to the time underneath, that's probably the best judge we're going to have as we see them coasted in, uh, turning from a motorcycle into a boat. Welcome to the Crew 2. Where that is possible, the first time I saw that happen, I was, I was kind of blown away. Uh, and now we have the boating section of this race. You still have those checkpoints to get through here, uh, going from that, uh, you know, that, that nice drive through the countryside and the dinosaurs to the, the trek on the river, where you have to nail all of these, uh, all of these checkpoints as we are approaching the halfway mark for, all, for our first four drivers here nearly halfway through on the first four players in the time trial. Like we said before, we won't see the result until everyone right. is done. So the only thing we can do now is kind of, yeah, think about it and yep. try to, to see landmarks. The, yeah. the, the top left, I think. And try to figure out, yeah, but we don't see that at the same time. That's the problem here. Right. Like that dude in blue, he's now on 50%, but we don't see the others. That was the live jump. So if we now jump on someone else and he's going over the live jump, we know they're behind it. But Cream is he's in, in front, front of it already. Yep, he's in front. And kind of typical gamer, kind of kind of side by side with Cream here, actually. I think they're very close in time. I think Cream wow, might be slightly ahead. No uh, and Munitions at like 59%. Is she way out front? Maybe she started Wait a bit earlier. Yeah. Okay, she, yeah, she yeah, started. We have to keep true. in mind they're doing manual starts. Yes, that's true. So uh, maybe not all A little of them bit of a difference exactly there. At the same yeah. time, yeah. But 62, 314, 63, 316, kind of capable of that. 60, 317. Uh, so I think Anne's actually a little bit ahead here. Yeah, that dude, that dude in the still blue struggling at least, with yeah. AI. So while typical gamer he is leading, I think Anne is leading as well. So it seems like my favorite is currently not doing that well. 
uh, on this final race. And that's the one that counts, man. David, yeah, come on. It. You got it. You got to step it up. Dude in blue having trouble with the AI. Uh, and, and I'm actually hearing his comms a little bit, which is pretty funny. He's kind of, he's kind of, uh, and actually, if we look at the mini map on the right, you can kind of see the dots there. Uh, I think those are four, our four drivers in real time, more or less. If you're, if you're, if you're able to see that there, uh, oh we can no, see. No, the dots are AI. Could be. Yeah, they are AI. Okay. Fair enough. There, there, there is a feature sessions. though in the crew too where you are able to see uh, people that you're partied up with. So I wasn't sure if that was happening there. But we're going back onto the road. Switching back into cars here. Really and rally cars is now, so if that Doom Blue brings that skull on R34 in the rally's back. Uh, oh, that is the starting buggy. Yeah. I'm not sure. Like, when I was racing it, it was fairly slow. It was but that slow could for be me, due too. To my yeah. skull. <laughs> yeah, true. And, well, at the very least, you don't want to go in the water as much here because I think it's just a slower car in general, and then once you get in the water, you're really slowing yourself down. And we see Ammunition doing a pretty nice job staying on the road. We got a, a Mercedes. Uh, this is the Mercedes class we saw from earlier. Cream, no, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, Cream wants to cut through the, the trees right there. Steven. Totally missed oh. it. Uh, not, not miss it. He no, not yeah. missed the tree. Yeah, he yeah, hit the <laughs> tree square on. Yeah. Missed the shortcut. Head first into that tree, basically like he's trying to sliding onto third base. Did not really work. There's that dude in blue. He tries now to finally get onto position one, but he's not having much trouble. <laughs> yeah, Neil's blocking him. Oh, he turned right. He missed the turn. Uh, oh. Oh, oh no. my, is he going around? Yeah, he doesn't want to go through the water. Okay. I, th I hope that he did not totally miss it. We're gonna it find out. Uh, but 94% progression. We're getting in the upper 90s here, so these guys are very close to finishing. Keep an eye on that time in the top left. Uh, and again, we're not going to really have final results until the end of the second uh, group of, rate of, of, of drivers here. But we can try to do our best here to guess as best as we can. Typical gamer around 5.15 there with the finish. 5.16 and Munition, what, pretty far back there, 5.33 or so. So was, Wait, wait, 5.16 was the quickest. So that dude in blue quick. is really yeah, slow. Yeah, he's, he's pretty far back there. So I think typical gamer doing the best and then Cream, I think he was doing great, but he had that crash square into the tree at the at the, at the very end there. And that's that's so tough to see. So I think I th there's a wall coming up for that dude in blue. Oh, yeah. Oh <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was so sure about that. Wait, well, that's a junction. There must be a wall yeah, in the US. Yeah. So that didn't already work out for him. <laughs> So he's going to finish there slowly but surely. Oh, man. Poor guy. 6.05. So I think based on our results there, I think Typical Gamer did the best. And this is just guessing. This is just speculation yeah, on our part. 16, right? I, yeah, I feel like Typical Gamer, and we, let's remember that, I guess. Remember that number for the next one. Uh, but Typical Gamer, I think, doing a little better than Cream. Cream was having a great race. He was doing a great job. But uh, he had a crash kind of near the end. And we saw it straight on our screen, straight into a tree, trying to make a shortcut happen. But uh, met a tree instead. So I think that that hurt him quite a bit. I think he was running great until that point. So in my mind, I feel like uh, the typical gamer with with the, with probably the best run that we uh, that we're going to see there on that track. And now it's up to these four and we're going to jump straight into it. It's up to these four, uh, the next the next grouping in the finals to go after that time from typical gamer, which we had ar unofficially around five, five, six, five, sixteen. Yeah. So we'll keep an eye out for that. I have to say, normally I would straight go for, oh, so that train is the quickest among those four. Yeah. But I saw Legendary Leia being really, really good on the dirt bikes, which is a bit more of a chaotic drive. Yep. This seemed to be kind of chaotic with all the switches. Yes. So could be good. Yeah, I, I could lean to her being the quickest among those four. If that's really quickest compared to typical gamer, in case he is really the quickest. Yeah. Um, I don't know yet. But that dude in blue, he was definitely struggling, not fast at all. And Munition, she was really, really quick on a round as well. But I think um, typical game of found another shortcut yeah. that he could use where he made up all that time. Right. I mean, and that's what it comes down to. First, can you find those shortcuts that can make you up that, that amazing time? Or can you, you know, can you avoid those crashes? Because I think we saw some pretty clear obstructions uh, encountered by, by our drivers from that first round. So just got to avoid that danger get out of the busyness of the AI. But here we go. We have uh, the next, the final race here. This is the final race of our event. Who is going to be our king of the road trip as we take a listen? The last time we see those guys racing here for the trophy of King of the Road. Great start here. 
bringing the uh, Lamborghini of Speedy W03 yep. right onto the first place. I think that was fairly quick around the AI, which is kind of poor. That's a big deal. Get out of the traffic. Get out of the way of the AI. Just just leave them in your dust as soon as possible. We saw that dude in blue having a lot of trouble with that and having to like fight the AI throughout the entire race. So Speedy. Uh, he's going to be very happy with how he started this race. Looking at the strap train, this is the guy. This is the guy I'm looking out for. He had amazing uh, tactics before the event started. He looked like the, the most poised, the most prepared, the most practiced coming into this event. But now it comes down to this. Can he look? Can he get the time he's looking for? We saw him go a little bit off the road there, actually. So uh, hopefully he stayed out of trouble. But here's legendary Leah still dealing with a little bit of the traffic in the back. So trying to make up some time at this point. We saw her do the best in the motorbike race. And we'll see if she can translate that into this final. Uh, but we have three representatives from the Midwest. Legendary Leah Jackal Tremotive you see on your screen right now in the slap train. And we have one representative from the east, which is Speedy W, to find out uh, who can get the fastest time and become king or queen of the road trip. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think slap train either uh, he created a shortcut I wasn't aware of, uh, or he missed uh, the roadway, uh, roadway he wanted to head on. Currently 20%, 1.7, like 1 minute 7. Yep. We can, we can kind of kind try of to use that yeah, there we can. Um, to see where they are right now. So Legendary Leia is in 25%, 1 minute 30. So she seems to be quicker. Yeah, she's, left right. I think she's holding her own here. Uh, but she wasn't with oh, the AI a little bit no, earlier. No, no, against the, the train! The Lamborghini oh. against the train! That's, an, that's a very um, Don't want that. costly thing. I can tell you, I once crashed a car up to 200k. What? Like base price, yeah. In real um, life? In real life. I can tell you that hurts a lot. If oh. you do so, that hurts a lot. So I can understand when they were on the track with a Porsche that they don't want to crash it. Happened to me uh, while we were filming uh, for an episode uh, after a drift. Yeah. Uh, just um, emergency braking system kicked in off the car and I smashed it into the Well, I'm, I'm so happy you're wall. all right and that you're here with <laughs> us today. But uh, time to look out for here. Our uh, typical gamer is on 516. Uh, so halfway, which is 50%, 238. That's the time to look out for. So if we see what happens at 50%, if there can be ahead of 238, I believe that they're on track to, to take home the title. So we'll keep an eye on that. Jack Ultramoto se seems to be having a pretty incredible run here, uh, passing through halfway, just about 230. We're about to get a shot of that. Uh, but uh, the slap train as well. He's well in contention here. You know, he, he's having a fast race as well, approaching 50%, uh, well ahead of that 238 mark that they're looking for to stay ahead of that of that pace that we saw from typ typical gamer in the first race. But again, uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Looks like legendary Leah a little bit a little bit slower here. Uh, a lot of that she crashed straight into a tree a little bit earlier. We saw that happen, but still maybe room for her to bring it back. So uh, we'll see how how these guys can close this out as they are all over halfway through this race. Kind of interesting to see that Leia actually tried to avoid the jump there. No went for it. Try to be quicker, but Speedy, he is struggling here in the narrow section of the water race. I didn't look that well. Jack actually looks most planted for me, on yeah. most part of the water track. He looks relaxed, doing a good job. Speedy now behind the AI. Yeah, oh. Travis is coming around as well. Tough. Wants to have a shot, wants to be part of our broadcast. So it seems <laughs> Speedy lost a bit of time, and Slap Train and Jack and Legendary Leia, very more or less now fighting for the Yeah, and now we're going to be approaching the last third of this race, which is back onto land. And we saw a lot of different paths being taken in the first race. We saw trees become an issue, obstacles. But we also saw some decent shortcuts being utilized by our drivers in that first uh, uh, that first uh, grouping of finals that, finalists that we saw. So <laughs> Look at Speedy. He just pushed the AI onto the, uh, onto the ground. Like, hey, man, you might ride a boat, but I can put you on land whenever I want. Yeah. <laughs> This has got to be down to the Slap Train and Jack Ultra. I believe they're having uh, the fastest times at this moment, but all results that we're saying are completely unofficial. So we are on the edge of our seats just as much as you guys are at home uh, to see how fast these guys are really going compared to the other drivers. But now, as, as I mentioned, they're entering that third part of the race. There's a little bit of land, a little bit of water. You got to play this right, and you got to be tactical and smart and kind of know your lines. And this is tricky. This might be the first time that these guys are encountering uh, this terrain. So they have to really be careful to, to choose those lines and not crash into anything. Oh, Jack, Jack Ultra. Ultra right there. He avoided all the objects there. That was a good job. But still, he's just second. AI was a bit quicker. It's once again Neil, our favorite AI <laughs> driver, uh, that does a good job in this race. Okay. Jack back on first. 85% for is 40. Yeah, and unofficially, the time to beat, 5.16. Uh, so we'll have to see if any of these guys can, can beat that pace. The slap train, this looks like a really good pace from him. 90% around 4.40 he's going to be at. Uh, so not too far away at all from that finish line. Got to be careful, though. He's trying to cut through the water here. You don't want to put yourself in danger, but taking a, taking a good line there, uh, understanding that part of the track. And he's getting very close to finishing. It might be up to slap train. He's having a great race, it seems. Might be the first one to finish here, approaching 95. 
5%. Remember, 516 around there was the time to beat Legendary Leah, already approaching that 516 mark at 92%, which kind of tells the story of just how fast the slap train is going. 504, 505, trying to find that finish line. Oh, he needs to this? be aware of that wall. Uh, we, we and a tree wall. or two, but he's like, <laughs> okay, whatever, and it's going to be close. He's around 512, 513 for the slap train, so that might be enough for him. And Jack Ultra Motive, not a bad time at all, around 5.30. Speedy also finishing up around 5.30 as well. So I think it's going to be pretty close. I don't know what's going to happen here. A part of me thinks that the Slap Train got it, typical gamer, in second. But all results, everything we've seen is unofficial, and it's just us speculating. So I, now I eagerly await what our final results are going to be. Yeah, Legendary Lee and, and Speedy, they drop out off pace, basically, in the, in the later part of the race. They've been very quick early on. Uh, Slap Train had that small mistake in between, yeah. but it seems like rest of it was just spot on. Yeah, and I think Jack Ultra, he was having a great race too, it felt like. But I think he might have run into an obstacle or something because certainly a little bit slower towards the end. Uh, but I, I thought he had a great start, a great a great mid, mid part of the race too. So I wonder if he got into some trouble as uh, we transitioned from the water back onto the land. Again, a very tricky part of the track. But now is the, the the time of a little bit of tension, a little bit of apprehension as our administrators kind of put all these times together and as we uh, await our final results. But uh, great to see all the dynamics of that track kind of switching between vehicles. That's what happens in the Crew 2. You're able to get into the game and explore the open world. And if you're not in a dedicated race, you have that flexibility. Well, some races have it, but you do have the flexibility in the open world to just switch to whatever vehicle you feel like, you feel like going with. Uh, you can go from a car to a boat to a plane, and you can go anywhere on the map that you want. So uh, really cool seeing those transitions happen actually in the race itself. Uh, seeing those guys go from, from road to boat to road. And now we await our final results. We're not going back from plane to road. No, we, we don't do any of that because I have to remind you about one uh, simple fact for us at least, which means if that was the last race, yep. it's the last time coming back to us. I know. This is so much fun though. It's a lot of fun. Sat face. It's cool hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's cool hanging out, seeing cool some cars racing, some planes, some water boats, all of that stuff. No, I'm, I'm really happy about the racing action we saw because it was close. There were no clear favorites in yeah. all the races. Instead, we had different winners each time. I know we saw a typical gamer winning both of his first rounds. Yeah. Uh, same for Cream. But after that, it was basically spread Everywhere. amongst everyone. It's great. Uh, you know, legendary Leah, I, I think she got last in the first two races she did. Yeah. But then, boom, she's able to come out and, and qualify for the finals just by having a good uh, race on the dirt bikes. That was really cool to see. And then Ammunition uh, making it through in the in the tiebreakers, knocking Slap Train down. Slap Train a favorite coming in, not even in the finals automatically, but by all intents and purposes, uh, from my point of view, it looked like he had a, he had a great time there uh, in that last track, and I love the different regional uh, uh, representation that we saw in the finals. Every single regi region was represented. I believe the Midwest was the most strongly represented there in the finals, so really cool to see just diversity all across the board. It would just be a great comeback story if Slap Train would now actually win. It I would mean, be. He did not made it to the final immediately, and I was a bit surprised because he was one of my favorites, and then he was struggling. Yeah. Like, he was struggling in the tiebreaker. Well, uh, which led, led and, to and, the and, elimination. And we didn't see the, his first two rounds, and we like the yeah. scoreboard came up, and we're like, wait a second, why is he down in fifth or sixth? He so won he definitely... one, probably, but he didn't win the other race because yeah. he scored seven points. And I want to say Jack Ultra Motive, like I think he rose up in a big way. Uh, not a lot of people maybe considering him up to par with Slap Train, but I think that's probably what happened. Jack Ultra was able to win one or two of those first two rounds, which started that storyline, and then there they were, just racing against, uh, racing against each other again. Uh, in the finals, so I, I love all the storylines from every direction, and I'm, I, I'm I'm pretty sure everyone's having fun here. All the content creators who came out uh, and from the respective regions to not only participate in the event, but we saw how fun they had uh, with the Porsche uh, experience there, seeing the reactions, that was great as well. So uh, what, what a fun opportunity for all these guys, and I'm sure no matter who wins, uh, everyone's gonna, gonna have, you know, walked away from here ha having a great time uh, enjoying this game. I hope so. But next time we want to be on the Porsche experience. I know. That's we got to. Sure. Oh, yeah. Porsche experience. And then <laughs> ah, we got to get some controllers up here I, so I, we can. I want, to, I want to name one thing because I saw that in the chat. People were like, oh, the Harley Davidson is great. It's a great price, but I need to pay taxes on it. But that's not true. That's a good point. Because one year, like the first year, eh, they pay the taxes for you if you win it. It was one year, right? I, it's something like that. I know it's not as extreme as some people might think. Yeah. It's so uh, don't worry about that. If you win it, yeah, uh, it's not like you need you <laughs> go back no. immediately. <laughs> immediately like, and I don't God. really want it. I don't really want it. No, that, and that's still eligible right now. Again, you can jump into the crew too. All you have to do is reach fame level two, and you're in it for a chance to win that Harley Davidson. 
I if might, you're I from the U.S. If, you, if you're from the U.S. and you have to be 18 years or older, tell your dad. I'm just. I'm. Tell I'm your dad or your mom to to play. Yeah. I'm the I'm the only one amongst the talent and the draw. Oh no! Wait. You know this guy from Ireland. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Dahi. Yeah. He's from Ireland, so yeah. I'm not the only European. There you go. In this show, which is great. And you chose the right, the correct allegiance, uh, supporting the South. The South. But uh, the South probably not winning. I mean, that dude in blue. <laughs> yeah, this no. time, I think he there won't be enough. Great, unfortunately. No. Uh, that, that will not work. I really think it's Slap Train or it's Typical Gamer. Yes, I what, agree. What happens if it's someone that we didn't have on the list at all because we didn't saw him crossing the line? That's just how it works sometimes. <laughs> you know, that's that's the fun of it all, too. And and we are certainly full of, of uh, you know, a little bit of tension here, a little bit of apprehension as, as they're still crunching the numbers to find out who won. You know, it could, this could be a situation where it's a uh, photo finish at the end where these guys are within tenths of a second. Back so two, tie, break it back. I know. <laughs> it's like they, they finish at the exact same time, so we have to do more tiebreakers. I, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Yeah, That'd like a fun. final with a tiebreaker. That's amazing. What they should do is is they have the ability, like you, you can literally in the game, in the crew too, you can go, go to Maine, or you can go to the East Coast. You can choose your vehicle, and you can just make a road trip all the way to the West Coast. You can do that in the game. Uh, maybe that should be the next race that happens. You, you have to start. With, you have to. You have <laughs> so to we start. Wait, wait. The map is huge. Yeah, we would sit a yes. long time here. Hour and a half race, man. <laughs> Hour and a half race. It'd be great. You, you start pretty deep into the ocean, and it, it actually in the crew too. It, the further you go out in the ocean, the waves actually get bigger, as they would, and it's actually terrifying taking a boat and going out there. And there's actually whales. I heard. So I, I think that's a challenge for you guys. Uh, if you can get a picture of a whale, I want to know. I want to know what that looks like in the game. So. I, I wonder, if, I wonder if anyone's looking out for that. But also, I would love to see that. Start from one end of the United States and race all the way to the other. It takes an hour and a half. That'll be fine. We'll have plenty of pizza and brownies to keep us company. <laughs> I mean, one thing I have to say, Ammunition, she still, ha still has a chance to win here because she had a pretty quick time yeah. uh, compared to Legendary later. And with, like, spent 15 years now in gaming and, and doing stuff like shows and, and esports and all that, and never had a single event where female player won. So I would be super happy with her winning right now. That would be one one of the things. And I heard from race control now, it is race control now, that Absolutely. we got those results, which means we'll probably give it over. Yeah. Because we're not the ones doing the results. No, we not. we actually say, oh, we are. Oh, well, we are. That okay. Is, <laughs> I thought we were great. handing it off. Awesome. That is even Drum better. Roll, so how please? would we do it? Wait, wait, yeah. Drum oh, roll plays the slap train. It's slap train. 12, Woo! 16, followed by typical gamer, 5, 16, 92, within four seconds of each other. That's close. But and Munition finishing strong, getting a podium spot in third place, followed by Speedy W, Jack Ultra Mode of Legendary Leo Cream, and that dude in blue. He's actually the slowest. Yeah, all right. that's all right. I'm a bit surprised. But it is slap the train, slap train. Our winner. Very well played. Very well done. Wow. Okay. I mean, yeah, he was super quick. Uh, typical gamer, he will be not he disappointed. He yeah, he was so close. He yeah. could have done it. Uh, which is which is kind of sad for him, but it's great to see that even with the time trial going uh, from from cars to bow to rally, yeah, it's still it's still that close. It really tests every ounce of your energy, but I think that's done for us. So yeah. uh, thanks thanks everyone, and <laughs> thank you. It was this was a ton of fun, and until next time, it was we're giving it over to Shaq on the stage. Yay. Slap! Congratulations. Thank you. Too. This is yours, sir. Yay. The king of the road trip. But hey, I just heard something. It's your birthday too. Aww, are you awesome. serious? I know, I know. It's quite the birthday gift. So what are you gonna do with it? I should get to take this home. Absolutely. Well, that would be good. Yeah. I'm gonna drink a cold beer out of this. I'm gonna tell you. There that. we go. I hope you drink more than one. Oh, yeah. Yes, of course, of course. love it. Thank you, thank you. What do you want to tell the gamers at home about the game? Well, it comes out next week. I'm not mistaken, Friday. No. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for it. I'm waiting for the release. Uh, lots of customization. The map is huge. The game's fun. Simple as that. It's just, it's a fun game. Okay, and that's awesome all that answer. Yeah, totally. Yeah, exactly. Fun's always a good thing. And we want to thank everyone at home for watching, all of our lovely competitors, and also a thank you to our sponsors, Papa John's, Motor Trend, and Harley yeah. Davidson. Julian, what do you want to tell people at home? Okay, so the game is out on June 29. Mm -hmm. You can have early access with a gold edition playing at uh, June 26. And you can play the game now, open beta, it's for free on all platforms. And last but not least, you have the contest, the Harley Davidson contest. Go on the official website for all the details. That's one sick motorcycle, if I do say so myself. All right, thank you everybody for watching. Thanks, guys. See you Congrats, later. Slap. Woo! Happy birthday.
Catch your breath. We're right back in it. Accidentally.